Civilization VI, Coupe the Navigator, as part of the Hermetic Order. Live for Wednesday, January 19th, 2022, substituting for rescheduled Cleo Craft stream, which will occur same time, Friday, January 21st, 2022. Do, 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 do. It's absurdity in RPG form. Tiger Brahe's behind crease cardboard, but you don't pull up chairs for humor, do you? You shouldn't miss this guy, Kathris. He shakes a stone as Light Eldritch, compelling you, the viewers, to hit the merch store. 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 Walnut's Grove is gone, which sucks for a druid. Plus, mail is strong, but nuts wise into it. Sigils on the cave wall stabbed like daggers. She took wolf form and she howled aloud She bit at Cuthris and she snapped a snell And by her instincts led you to the merch store Hit the merch Hit store the merch Hit the merch Hit store Hit the merch Hit store Hit the merch store Rosa, she's shopped there before All her grandkids get gifts from the store Little halflings with their kingpins playing footloose I've seen them picnic beneath the stars Wearing their bright dark magic scarves It's a one-stop shop for birthdays at the merch store Hit the merch Hit store, the store. Hit the merch Hit store. store. Hit the merch Hit store. store. Hit the merch store. Denar's a paladin, dragonborn, who treats everybody else with scorn. But you know that they all deserve it, don't you? He gains entitlement from bits, or so Jerry claims, so I guess it fits. And, and they, they both expect you all to hit the merch store. Hit the merch hit store. The hit the merch hit store. The hit the merch hit store. The hit the merch store. Maybe there are gods beyond whose tendrils shift their waking pawns, but Jerry kind of seems like he has got this. Except the times when the phones light up and ideas arise and outright erupt and Jerry's gone, volcanic curse and Rothfuss. What now, Rothfuss? Come on, Rothfuss. Ignore Rothfuss. Gosh darn Rothfuss. Dang it, Rothfuss. My game, Rothfuss. Go home, Rothfuss. Shut up, Rothfuss. Flip it, Rothfuss. Let's not do this. Hit the merch store. Hit the merch store. The summer is past. 
But your days keep growing longer There's no wind in your sails But the storm's growing stronger Walking hard Standing tall Keeping your head up through it all Fighting fires Spinning plates Goodness how it get so late Lay your head down Joe Hills is filmed before a live streaming audience. That's us. Howdy, y'all. Joe Hills here, recording as I always do in Nashville, Tennessee. And tonight, y'all, or today, this morning, y'all are my live streaming audience. We normally have a crafting stream on Wednesday mornings with Zombie Cleo. Zombie Cleo is not feeling well today, has a migraine. So we are rescheduling that crafting stream for Friday morning. I do like to do that once a week. It would be more fun to craft with my fellow hermit than to craft alone. So, anyway, we are playing here as Coupe the Navigator on Emperor Difficulty in Civilization VI, a game where you basically build a civilization. There's a whole big world out there, and uh, we've seen some of it, not all of it, but we are playing as the Maori. We've got these red cities that are kind of just on the east and west borders of the map. I wish that the map reoriented so your civilization's capital was always in the center. But you know what? That's something to save for Civ 7, I guess. So hello to everybody joining us in chat. Welcome Cat Gang Rotation, the K-Guy, Chaos Bear, and Ahime Angel in Twitch. Over on the YouTube chat, welcome Faith, Brain Boy, Abdullah Khan, Pit, Squeezy Ideas. More folks will be rolling in soon, but we're going to get going. So let's zoom, 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 zoom. Alrighty, so we got this guy. We can start building more fisheries with because we're already hitting 27 housing over here, which is wild. Um, so we need to kind of keep building fisheries to keep getting more housing. We've also got an archaeologist complete next turn. That'll be nice to have. And ooh, another archaeologist over here. Yeah, I hope Cleo feels better soon as well, King Arthur. Okay, yeah, send a delegation. Simon Bolivar wants to be nice. That's always good. He's too far away to attack us. Okay. So we're just going to go ahead and let the other computer player, or let the computer players take their turns. I'm not one of the computer players. When I say the other computer players, I don't mean, I don't know. Bustling and Cosmopolitan. Te Hokianga Nui Akupe never sleeps. A city has reached 25 population for the first time in the world. Woo! Okay, and we've unlocked banking, so we can build a bank now, as well as the Great Zimbabwe Wonder. Although that requires a commercial hub and cattle, and I'm not sure we have any of those. Also, we have a new trade route that just opened up. So where do we want to send this guy? Okay, so this is our newest city, Kayapoi. And it's got 21 food and 27 production. So that's that's not terrible. But, um, in fact, in, at that point, maybe going for food and production here doesn't make as much sense as sending our people to another civilization. Let's see... There's Cincinnati, New Orleans, Baltimore. We can't actually send somebody to Washington, it looks like, because we don't have a connection over there. But, uh, ooh, in the orange, if we go as far as Endhoven, we could then extend further. So that might actually be worth considering. Let's see. Mogadishu gets us there and 23 gold. 23 gold is a lot of gold. And they want to give us an envoy. Uh, I'm interested. So let's go ahead and do that. Now, if we look at our city-states here, 
We have a reasonable amount of envoys in a lot of these. We're playing with the Barbarian Clans mod, as well as the Randomized Research and the Secret Societies mods. And so, there's... Basically, Barbarian Clans can become city-states over time. If people try to help them civilize. Um, uh, Mini Cheese Mouse says, Cleo ain't there yet, so watching Joe for a bit. Uh, I don't know if you saw Cleo's tweet, but she has a migraine today, so we rescheduled the art stream for Friday. So I'm going to be playing a little bit of Civ today while we wait. Uh, let's see here. In the meantime, we can choose a research. Once again, the technology tree is fully randomized. So is the civics tree. So we don't know the order that things are going to come up in unless we research the things before them or get a Eureka. Okay, sanitation will give us plus two housing, and we're quite honestly going to need that, because we are doing an insane amount of stuff. Ooh, plus one food from plantations, though, is also nice, but you know what? The housing thing is going to be a problem. It's going to be a problem. It's interesting also that everything down here is hidden behind something behind rifling. So maybe we do rifling, and then we do this, and then we see what those are. I don't know. Science-wise, actually, when we look at the tech tree, if you look at the bottom of the tech tree, you'll see that we are down here lagging way behind. Hammurabi's in the atomic era. These two are in the modern era, industrial era. Okay, so this guy probably has nukes and bombers, and that's going to be a problem for us and anybody else who doesn't want to get nuked, realistically. Because we can't build any sort of anti-aircraft weapons. We're still sailing around in galleys. Okay, so we've got our archaeologist here. Um, we can have him go dig for some archaeologies. Let's see, where would there be archaeologies to dig? Hmm. Uh, there's one there. Now, people get mad if you dig up artifacts within their borders, though. So you usually kind of want to gently avoid those. But, wow, there really isn't a lot of archaeologizing to do over here. Okay. Let's see, this guy here has choose production um he's only got one build left so we might send him back here to deal with any natural disasters that arise welcome to Nalid, texas and discount engineer howdy howdy my name is joe hills i'm broadcasting live from nashville tennessee okay so here in our capital what we want to build next is a water park that's going to get us an amenity from entertainment and just be good clean fun so Let's see. I kept these two slots here open. Do we have we have the harbor built already? I kept these two slots adjacent to my capital open just in case we had the opportunity to build a wonder next to them. Sadly, we have not had that chance. But I guess we'll go ahead and turn one of these into our water park. It does give a boost to relatively nearby cities, but Honestly, all of these are not relatively nearby enough. Hey, oh, I just realized Discount Engineer brought in a raid. Welcome, Discount Engineer Raiders. Glad you could join us. Hope you had a good stream. Okay, so let's see. Over here, uh, we've just finished the archaeologist here, and we can build this. International trade routes from the city receive plus two gold for every luxury resource of the destination. Ooh, cities not on your home continent receive the lowest production cost building they can currently construct. Let's maybe, uh... Ooh, and you can build it in water? Yes, please. Let's, let's see how that goes. Meanwhile, we've got this ship over here. I want to get my... We've got this settler here that we're trying to get up to here. But sadly, that's still six turns out, it looks like. Okay. So, meanwhile, this guy can do some archaeological digging over here. 
Uh, Rawiri, why don't you go ahead and excavate this artifact? Hey, our knowledge of combustion's advanced. That's always nice. What kind of artifact is it? Ooh, it's either Coupes or the Barbarians. Let's go ahead and choose the Barbarians. Ooh, it's a bracelet. Put that in the Archaeological Museum, and that'll get tourism and culture. That's always nice. Okay, so we're going to have this builder here go to sleep. We're going to have this guy move over here. And next... Oh, so this person thinks we're bad at art, which in fairness we are. We are terrible at art. We have a great artist and we have nowhere to display art right now. So, I mean, we are kind of worthy of mockery in that way. Uh, let's see. In our government thing here, we do have a production boost toward lighthouse and encampment buildings. Okay. So we've got this great merchant as well that can't do anything until we build our first commercial district. Which I thought I had somebody working on. Oh, that's down here. Okay, great. So we're going to send him down to Taumuti this turn. Okay, now let's go ahead and send our archaeologist up here to go excavate whatever's up that way. We're going to have this guy stay on alert for pirates. Okay. So, here in our capital, we completed the water park. We can build a Ferris wheel to get additional amenities and tourism. Okay. And, you know what? I think I should probably be building some... Or purchasing some missionaries and stuff, too. Because... When we look at the religious overlay here... Um, one of our areas down here isn't converted. Yeah, so let's go ahead and purchase a, an apostle. And have them start heading down this way. And let's go ahead and have a missionary recruited to head to our future base over here. Hey, good morning, Agent A78. Glad you could join us. Also, welcome, Ray McKay. And good morning, Drew Baca, over in the Discord chat. Okay. So, having constructed the lighthouse here, we can now go ahead and start work on the shipyard. Ooh, although building the water park... Does the water park get adjacency bonuses, though? I don't think it does. So... Building it next to the ley lines doesn't really get us anything. Whereas building the shipyard next to the ley lines gets us a lot. Hmm. Is this game good? Uh, I enjoy it. I got it on the Steam sale for Christmas. Like, the Christmas sale. Which is super cheap. So I don't know what they're charging for it on whatever you're using. But, uh, yeah. It's definitely worth it if you can get it on Steam sale. Okay, so we've got trade routes to Hong Kong, Mogadishu, the Ethiopian Empire, and the Portuguese Empire. So we'll want to send this guy somewhere else, because you get uh, bonuses for sending trade routes to new civilizations each time. Okay, unit needs orders. Okay, apparently something happened when this guy tried to go up there. Why don't we, well, let's keep going, maybe? Maybe it'll be fine. Discount Engineer says, I think Civ 4 was the last one I played. I played a lot of Civ 5 and a lot of Civ Beyond Earth, but I haven't played very much Civ 6. This is only my fourth game. Normally, I'd be doing arts and crafts streams Wednesday morning, but my friend Zombie Cleo that I do them with uh, went, uh, had a headache, and so we rescheduled to Friday. So if you're here for the art stream, don't worry. It will happen just two days from now. Tomorrow morning, I'm going to be doing a mini golf stream uh, with Music Man. I'm excited about that. And then tomorrow night, I've got a pinball showdown. 
against Manu of Mystery Pinball Theater 3000. Oh, hold on. I should, if, if, if y'all haven't seen it yet, hold on. Y'all need to see this. Um, can I drag and drop this? <gasps> yeah, if you haven't seen this yet, this is going, wow, there's no transparency layer there behind it. Why is that a weird size? Okay. Let's try, let's try that a different way. Let's try download, saving the image to downloads. And then, yeah. Look at me, I'm a professional at something else, presumably. Oh my gosh. I don't want these sorted by type. Oh my gosh. I, I swear, Windows is just the worst these days. Like, all I want to do is view everything in this folder by its download date. And instead, it's like, nope, we're going to sort it by a bunch of other stuff. There it is. Boom. Thursday night, tomorrow night, I'm going to be battling against Mystery Pinball Theater 3000, playing Guardians of the Galaxy on twitch.tv slash pinball network. That's a real physical pinball machine I have in my apartment. And so that's going to be fun. Uh, Discount Engineer says, what kind of art are you doing? Uh, we do all sorts of stuff. We do, uh, I do usually painting, paper craft, uh, color pencils, drawing, that sort of thing. And Cleo usually does, like, embroidery, drawing, uh, yarn stuff. I don't, a bunch of, a bunch of sewing type things that I don't know. But anyway, people are excited about this, um, commercial district. They say that people are drawn to the commercial hub of Taomu 2 just for the excitement of buying and selling in the market. But the money is pretty good, too. I did trim my beard. Thank you for noticing. <clears throat> oh, that's a good time to mention. If you haven't noticed, my face camera is up here where my civilization leader head should be. And tips are welcome via paypal.me slash showhills and YouTube super chat. Yeah, my beard was having a little bit of a hard time fitting into masks. So I decided to go ahead and get that just cleaned up a bit. I say go get that. I mean, I, I went and to the bathroom and got the things out. I got the shears out and just trimmed it myself. Because why not? Why not? Okay. So let's go ahead and sort by gold because that's usually a pretty good proxy for what you actually want. Okay, we don't have anything going to Gondar right now, I don't think. Oh, wait, wait, wait. No, we have one to Ethiopia. We don't have anything to that sieve, though. 11 gold. This one gives us a science, though. Oh, but that's the one we've already got. Boo. Okay. Hey, welcome, Blaze the Banana. Glad you could join us. Choose production. Okay. And my phone isn't muted because I was waiting to hear back from Cleo. But I did hear back from Cleo, and we confirmed that the uh, plan is Tuesday. No, Friday. Days. Okay. Um, well, I could build the Panama Canal wonder if I really wanted to. That's not super, actually, a great one for that. But what does it get you? It gets you 10 gold. And you get a bonus for trade routes that go through it. But, okay. Taj Mahal would give us three great artist points per turn. I mean, honestly, right now we're so far behind on so far behind on science. I think I think we focus on just getting our science fix. Okay, here is a new trade route opportunity. Okay, we don't have anything to the Dutch, so let's just go to Endoven, I guess. Begin route. Okay. So this guy can now go to this commercial district and do his great person thing, which gives us 200 gold and one envoy. Yay. So, that should give us an envoy to send somewhere. Let's see. Builders can now make Maui improvements. Maui provide plus one culture, plus two for every adjacent Maui, plus one culture if adjacent to a coast or lake tile, on or adjacent to volcanic soil. Hmm. <clears throat> That's kind of interesting. 
Hmm. Yeah. Why don't we why don't we try that? Can we become their suzerain? And then I mean we could just buy a builder at that point. Honestly. If we haven't started producing that library yet. Yeah. Maybe let's purchase the library outright with some of this extra gold we got. And then purchase the Alchemical Society outright with some of the extra gold we got. And then purchase a builder to start building some of those crazy heads. That would be fun. And then we'll have this guy... Hmm, let's see. If we want to put a dam, it has to go there. And we're okay on food right now, but I'm not in a super rush to start destroying stuff. Um, that gets a boost from the adjacent niter. Ooh, can we just buy the niter yet? No, maybe not. We do need a theater square. Uh, boy, that's not great. Yeah, maybe, maybe we just get that industrial zone going. Because this is one of the only places we have with actual land. Mouse Max says, Meep, this doesn't look like crafting. Yeah, Cleo had a headache and we rescheduled for Friday, so I'm just playing Civ. Um, Keyboard9 says, is this similar to Port Royale or Tropico or easier to play? Uh, I don't know those games. But this game's pretty easy to play in that it usually gives you options of what to do. Hey, we found an artifact. We found one. We found an amphora. Put that in a museum. Then we also found another artifact here. A stone tablet. Which we created. Awesome. And a unit's available for promotion. Okay, so this apostle here... We'll go ahead and promote. The Netherlands flourishes with every shipment you send us. Oh, good. This lady actually really likes uh, trade routes. Let's turn off that overlay here. Okay. So what promotions are available to this guy? You can convert adjacent barbarians to your side using a religious charge. A relic is created if this apostle dies in theological combat. Um, I mean, we probably won't need any of these, but let's just put Martyr on for now. Okay, and then we're going to have him wander down here to Taumutu. Yeah, the Netherlands lady does look very sweet. She's like a kindly old lady. But is she? She might be a cutthroat old lady. Who can say? Okay, that guy's gonna be mad if we start digging up stuff in his territory. But it is an option we have. Okay. Let's send this guy over to here then. Next turn. No, this settler is going to settle right before we do. Oh, this guy wants our two nighter. Fine. No. <clears throat> Oh, no. We literally... We rolled in. We were right there. We were so close. Uh. So the problem is Grand Columbia is actually one of the best fighting civs. 
because their people can um, move extra far and get upgrades and attack on the same turn and a bunch of other stuff. So fighting over that might be a bad... Starting a war with Grand Columbia is a bad thing. But you know what? There's a ley line up here. So you know what we're going to do? We're going we're going this way, y'all. Okay. Let's Let's get this far. We're going to have some loyalty problems that far away from our capital, but we'll make it work. Okay. If I wanted to build this Maui or Maui thing why can't I build that um, what can you build that on uh. okay he placed on volcanic soil plains plains hills grassland okay so let's say that the city here Purchased another grassland tile there. I could have this guy then come up there to build one. Also, can I buy this niter tile? Oh, we should have built that mine first. It's fine. Okay. So meanwhile, in the capital, we can build an aquarium. Gives a bonus amenity to each city within nine tiles, plus one science to each coastal resource, shipwreck, and reef tile in the city. Okay, well, you know what? That sounds pretty fantastic. We could probably use a little bit of uh, bonus science right now. Because we've got people ahead of us in the atomic era. And that's scary. Mouse Max says, is this, the, is this the version of Civ where Sean Bean is, this, is the narrator? Uh, yeah, but I turned it off so that I can read the narration, because it's more fun for me. I like to be the narrator. Okay. Hey, Sean Jeffrey, I'm up here. I'm running the Mayans. Research completed. Rifling. Never criticize a rifleman until you have walked a mile in his shoes. That way, he'll be barefoot and you'll be out of range. So let's see what we have unlocked in... Well, before we do that, we've also completed the Civic of Nationalism. It is nationalism which engenders nations and not the other way around so that gives us production towards melee units combat strength when you're injured declare war on a uh oh colonial war used to declare war on a power two technology errors behind you half the usual grievances generated i don't want to be two errors behind the people in front but i am right now allows you to construct an additional spy that's worth doing okay so Let's see what we want to do with our new civics here. We are getting great engineer points per turn, but how, how much are those actually helping us? Oh, a lot, actually. 13 per turn. So we're about eight turns away from earning that guy naturally, or we could buy him with cash pretty soon. Mouse Mac uh, rolls in and tips nine and says, expand Joe, question mark? Well, Mouse Mac, that's actually the first tip of the stream, putting us 11 away from the next face camera expansion. So thank you so much for supporting the show, but we have 11 more to go. Alrighty. So, meanwhile, we are close to getting a great musician, and close to getting a great admiral, too, apparently. But yeah, we're just going to chill for right now, I think on great people 
Um, I wanted to look at the science tree and see what was behind rifling, because we're playing with randomized science, so you don't know the order stuff will be revealed in. So economics lets you build a stock exchange to boost build two banks. We're not going to do that anytime soon. All these other ones are dead ends. Getting the food from plantations wouldn't kill us, though, because we do have a few plantations. Um, in terms of civic research, two envoys from Opera and Bella. Ooh, the neighborhood district. We want the neighborhood district fast. Okay. So over here, we completed the industrial zone. So we can construct a workshop now. And a factory. Ooh, look, 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 look. University of Sangkor. Other civilizations trade routes to the city provide additional science, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So we're going to actually put that right here on the desert tile. And why can't we build this head? I mean, fine, we'll build a farm, but I wanted to build the head. It's fine. Whatever. We got a new governor title. Um, we're going to want to have Victor. We have nowhere to assign him yet. But uh, we will assign him once we create that new city. Because they're so far out, they're going to need a governor in order to avoid problems with um, being captured. So that guy gives a huge defensive boost. So this guy is still a few turns from getting here, it looks like. That's going to be okay. Next turn. Blaze the Banana says, what victory type are you going for? Um, diplomatic, hopefully. We've got 6 out of 20 diplomatic victory points now, and I haven't gotten the achievement for that one yet. So that would be handy if I could hit it. Oh, wow. Everybody loves Niter. Sure. Take the money and run. Because honestly, we're going to need that money to build up this new place real quick. Okay, what did we do? We got a city-state meeting bonus. So we got an envoy from Samarkand. Um, traders can now... Your builders can now make trading domes. That's handy if you do that. Okay. So, does it matter if we come ashore here or there? Because that we want to be close to the ley line either way. There's night or there. It's closer on that side. There's farm there either way. I mean, there's a lot of tundra, no matter what we do here. Tundra hills. Maybe we want the camp. Yeah. Hey, Andrew, I hope your dentist's visit goes well. Okay, so this guy, we're going to have spread religion to bring in both pesh. That's two fish, in case you needed to know that, which you probably didn't. Okay, I'm glad your braces are going well, NJ. Why does Portugal just have this builder sailing around? Like, that just seems like a huge liability to me. Whatever, that's fine. Okay. So let's see. Okay, so apparently, whoops, 
What is this grievances thing? Portuguese declared war against Milta, one of your friends or allies. I now have 50 grievance points against them. Okay. And we need more housing in our capital here. Which means it's time to start building that sewer that we didn't research. We didn't research the sewer. Oh boy. Okay, so we're going to build a spy. We can build a spy at least. Oh, sorry about your mom, dad, and brother, Faith. That's that's rough. Uh, I hope that they get better soon. Um, yeah, just give them a chance to get plenty of rest, hopefully. Okay, does... So this guy doesn't have a religion. So he won't mind if we come in and spread ours. Okay. I have this guy come ashore here and settle. Rua Toria becomes the first settlement on your America. And so now, we're going to have this ship go hang out in the waters here, and this ship hang out in the waters here. Going to protect the port. Okay. So all that money we've been stockpiling. We're going to buy a monument, and we're going to buy a granary, and we're going to buy a builder. And oh yeah, we're going to bring a governor over here. And we're going to start production on things. Um, we still have that boost to building harbor efficiency things. But I think we really want the ancient walls. Let's see. Oh, let's check on these aid request projects. Okay, we're winning that one. We're winning that one. And on the Nobel Peace Prize, we're winning that one. Okay. So, let's start working on ancient walls, though. Okay. They'll give us a tourism boost later. <laughs> Okay, which unit needs orders? Oh, this archaeologist? Okay. Okay, you stay on alert. You stay on alert. Probably about time to build that niter mine anyway. Boy. The Venetian Arsenal, the Commonwealth of Venice, in their armory has this inscription. Happy is the city, which in time of peace thinks of war. So boom, there you go. That is one Venetian Arsenal, a world wonder created. Scientific theory unlocked. Plus one food from plantation improvements. That's a huge boost. If the facts don't fit the theory, change the facts. Alrighty, that unlocks the wonder, World Wonder Oxford University, which there is no way that nobody has built so far. Okay, so this missionary here, we're going to spread religion. Okay, so this builder here, we're going to have walk this way and uh, build a camp next turn. Okay, it's time to open the technology tree. See, we want that sewer thing so we can get that boost to housing choose production okay we can build a theater square Ooh, plus three culture but we have to destroy the lumber mill oh Gain three governor promotions. All seas not on your original continent with a governor gains plus 15% production, plus 15% faith. Must be built adjacent to government plaza. Uh, yeah. That seems pretty good. And how are we on housing? 13 out of 15? What if we prioritize productivity? Probably doesn't matter. Yeah. 
one turn until the spy is produced over here. Okay. One turn until the shipyard is done over there. Oh yeah, I didn't actually look at what the Venetian arsenal gets me. Choose artifact. Okay. So we now have three things there. Okay. Let's go double check what the Venetian arsenal actually gets me. I think it lets me double up when I ship produce. Uh, receive a second naval unit each time you train a naval unit. Must be built on a coastal adjacent to an industrial zone. Plus two great engineer points per turn. So that means if we buy a ship, we want to do it in here. This is our official shipbuilding city, it seems now. Oh, boy. This guy wants to buy our nighter. Uh, I think we're going to hold off for right now. Morning, Martin. Glad you could join us. This guy wants to buy our nighter. But the thing is, we're going to need the nighter to actually upgrade our um, ships to frigates. I realized that that, oh no, the reason we wanted that one particular bit of land that Simone de Bolivar took was because it had coal on it. So, sending my settler, oh boy, let's see. Where are my current spies? So I've got one in Valletta here. Okay. I think we're gonna rush science for a few minutes then. Campus research grants. Project makes sense. Although the culture one, Theater Square Festival will let us spread out our city faster. But we're so far behind on science. Yeah. Okay. Ancient walls. Okay, builder, build a camp. Okay. Yeah, that was the coal we wanted there. There's nothing really comparable up here. Okay. So, let's send this guy to Cairo. Well, actually... Lob. Because I feel like the guy's more likely to guard his capital. Okay, so we'll have this Apostles of Revolution here. Okay. Now the boost our religion gives us. Um, we can build pagodas to get diplomatic favor per turn. We get a boost for each city following this religion that has a world wonder. Religion spreads further away is nice. Mm. Okay, while we're working on that University of Sangkor, maybe we purchase a workshop and a factory to speed up producing that wonder. Boom, yep. So that puts us only seven turns away from finishing that university. Yeah, have an embassy. Just as a treat. It's 
the Industrial Revolution and the growth of urban concentrations that led to a sense of anonymity. Boom, we now have public transport, neighborhoods with da, 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 military research, military academies, seaports, and renaissance walls generate plus two science, forced modernization, 50% gold and resource discount on all unit upgrades, and we can build the neighborhood. Woo. Mouse Mac rolling in and tipping five says, hey, Joe, good things to do in around Nashville, Cookville for a visually impaired person. I'm trying to plan my trip. Um... Honestly, I'm guessing if you're going to Cookville, it's because you know someone there. Because there's not a lot of reason to go to Cookville as a tourist. That's There is a big university there, so maybe you know somebody who works there or is a student there. Um, they would know the good things to do around there, but like, I haven't... I don't really go to Cookville. Um, unless I'm like stopping on my way somewhere else and then I just get fast food on the nearest the interstate so I'm bad at Cookville in terms of Nashville um for a visually impaired person um I mean I'm not sure how visually impaired you are but seeing the Parthenon is really cool and even if you can't see very well the building itself on the outside you can walk around and touch everything like the building is completely touchable so you can get a really good sense of the scale of it by just walking along it and brushing your hands on the pillars um so i definitely recommend the parthenon uh assuming you have somebody there who can who's less visually impaired to kind of help you with that um I mean, honestly, right now, also, like, when you're saying you're planning a trip, like, are you planning it for a year out? Because you're using pounds, so you might be, um, you might be traveling in a year when COVID's over. Could you fill, fill, fill me in? When, when are you planning on traveling? And uh, are you visiting a local in Cookville? Those two things would help. But anyway, so let's see. Between the $9 tip from Mouse Mac earlier and the $5 tip now, that puts us at $6 away from the next face camera expansion. Tips are welcome via paypal.me slash Hills and YouTube Super Chat. Okay. So anyway, let's go in here and change some policies. Since we got all the shipyards and stuff built, we're going to need... Um, I kind of think we want to use the discount, golden resource discount on military unit upgrades. Um, I think um, extra science for building on campuses. We actually got less sciences from that than when we had the adjacency bonuses to campuses. So, yeah, we're at 213 now. When we enable that, that'll work better. Extra faith from buildings in... Ba, 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 ba. Plus two housing for all cities with at least special three specialty districts. That's a good oh, temporary one. But I think... Yeah, plus one science and plus one culture from international trade routes. We've got six of those. And every bit helps. So let's go ahead and confirm policies. Trip is hopefully in May this year. Staying with friends near Cookville. Gotcha. Okay, cool. Well, then, like I said, uh, they'll definitely know Cookville better than I will. Um, in Nashville... Once again, depending on how visually impaired you are, like, can you play pinball? Because we have one of the best pinball arcades in the country right now um, called Game Terminal. Um, and that place is absolutely fantastic. But I'm not sure how impaired um, you're talking. Uh, but yeah, Game Terminal would be a recommendation. Parthenon would be a recommendation. Uh, there's a ton of places that have live music. 
Um, but that really depends on like what kind of music you're into, but your friends could hook you up with, if you go to the Nashville scene website, actually, um, they keep track of like all the bands and everything, um, that is coming up. Um, I'm going to go ahead and post that calendar.nashvillescene.com. You could go in and you could find out all the shows and all the events that are going to be occurring um, assuming it's safe enough to have them and find some music that you would enjoy, hopefully. Um, performed live. Okay, so we have this mine in here now. Um, hmm. Have we expanded enough to get... Can we buy any of these tiles here? Or, 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 or. Oh, wait, wait, wait. No, we don't own those turtles. Let's, let's see, which tiles can we buy? Oh boy, these are all terrible. Hmm. Yeah, I think this builder's gonna have to go to sleep for a turn. Sorry, builder. Send you back in here. Okay, what civic do we want to research? Nuclear program. Spies who steal tech boost without being detected gain an extra tech boost. Uh, yeah. Okay, actually, we really want this. The ballet gives us two envoys, and Scorched Earth gives us two envoys. What does opera and ballet give us otherwise? Great musician points per turn, extra culture from buildings and theater squares, Bolshoi Theater. That'll enter us into the modern era. Boy, we are... We are middle of the pack on everything, y'all. These guys are in the modern era. Okay, so this builder needs something to do. Um, okay. So what I was thinking I would do with this city is let's buy some tiles. Um... So that'll let us build a farm there. And let's go ahead and build a lumber yard here. Can I buy all the way out to this niter yet? No, not this turn. Can we upgrade this guy now? No, because we just spent all our money. But we get 424 money per turn, so it's not like we're in huge trouble money-wise. Okay, we got our governor established there. He wants to offer coal for open borders and the Shroud of Turin. I don't really want to give up the Shroud of Turin. That's a pretty good thing. I think we're going to refuse. And I'm mad that he um, he got in a coal fight with me. He's the one that stole the coal. I'm not going to reward that negative behavior. Okay, so we got two diplomatic victory points for uh, helping Christina with that natural disaster. That's nice. On this next one, we are still winning as well. And we're doing pretty well there, too. Okay, so let's go ahead and get a lumber mill in here. We can go ahead and do an excavation. We only get one before we make this guy mad at us. But, okay. So, somebody else built St. Basil's Cathedral in Chichen Itza. Okay. We got a mosaic. That's nice. And we can choose production now in our capital. Let's see. We were trying to boost science until we could build the sewers. Yeah, let's max out science and culture, I guess. For right now. Okay, down here. Uh... Medieval Walls and Water Park. Oh, boy. 
I wish we got adjacency bonuses with the water parks for the ley lines. That would be really cool, but we don't. Okay. We do have some extra envoys to send. So let's see. This guy has no suzerain. Your cities have full housing from water as though they were all next to a river. Honestly, let's just do that. Become a suzerain. Next turn. Next problem. Okay. Our, our archaeologists won't go to this guy's place again. Sorry, this guy. Well, Mouse Max says, me playing pinball would likely be hilariously terrible, but I am willing to try. Well, hopefully, um, hopefully, um, that website that I shall see will help you find some live music or shows or something that you would enjoy. Okay. Ooh, sanitation. Apart from the sanitation, the medicine, education, wine, public order, roads, the freshwater system, and public health, what have the Romans ever done for us? Alrighty. So, now, crucially, we can build sewers. Okay, we have promoted this spy to an agent and stolen some gold successfully. That's fantastic. Okay, so this builder wants something to do, but there's not really a lot we can do because we can't actually buy any workable tile. Oh, that's a workable tile. Okay, Builder, you're going over there. Choose Research. If we look at the tech tree here, we need to get, get caught up. So Economics is the predecessor to Combustion, which is the predecessor to a bunch of other stuff. Okay. So, uh, we've created a lumber mill here. We got one more build with this guy. Can we buy that niter this turn? No, apparently not. Okay, I do think we need to maybe buy a scout or something. Oh, the ranger is the upgraded version. Okay. Let's upgrade some of our other things. So we need 10 Niter to upgrade that guy. Basically, any units eligible for upgrade, we want to upgrade while we've got the uh, thing active. Upgrade to Miss Minuteman. Caravel. Can't upgrade without coal. Quadrium. Okay. Do we have anything over here that this builder can be working on? Doesn't look like it. Okay. Go build a farm down here. Okay. So this guy can't ex excavate in their territory anymore. We're going to have him keep going. Until he's over in somebody else's territory. Okay, so promotion available. It takes no time to establish presence in an enemy city. Counter spies have two levels more experienced. Oh, boy. Okay. Oh, good. YouTube just emailed us to let us know that they're completely changing how... Payment reporting works. Thanks, YouTube. I'm sure that won't be a problem for anyone ever. 
Oy, oy, oy. Okay. So, if we want to level this guy up again, um, trying to steal a tech boost is going to be the way to go. But, I don't think we're ready for that yet. 2% chance of being captured and killed. That's low enough to be worth it. Okay, spreading some religion here. And then we'll head up to Cardiff. Hey, we get to claim two great people. 480 production toward wonder construction. Yes, please. And a great admiral. Plus five combat strength, plus one movement to industrial. Okay, sounds fantastic. Okay, so let's send him to another city. Okay. This person is mad that we're recruiting great people. Sorry, Christina. Okay, Gustav Eiffel. So, how close are we on producing the University of Sankor? We're at 467 out of 710. And we could start some of these other ones. Ooh! Oh my gosh. That one gives you diplomatic favor for a turn. Um, okay, so I kind of think what we do is we... Can we rush production anymore to get that done in three turns? Not really. It's four turns no matter what. Okay. But if we purchase... Uh, oh, we do need to go purchase a sewer in our capital. Because we are about to hit our limit on housing. Okay. We're going to have Gustav Eiffel go to sleep for a few turns. Okay, we're going to have this guy build a boat here. Fantastic. That also gives us a nice little culture bomb. Okay. Do, do, do. Next turn. Okay, lots going on. We, we completed the Torah de Bellum. No vessel could pass these guns without being seriously assailed. Okay. So you might say, Joe, where did you complete that? Let's uh, find out. Um, well, this place we just got done with the campus research grants, so I think we're going to Maybe do some, I don't know, theater square festivals or something over here. How many turns until that's border growth? Okay, not very long. Okay, we're going to have this place, or this guy, transfer to our port up here to go keep these guys company. I have this guy build a nice little farm here. Yay, farms. Okay. Now, what else is going on up here? Um, okay, I think... 
we can build a camp. Uh, building a campus would probably be pretty helpful. Ooh, plus four on the campus. Yeah, that's pretty handy. We get the two mountains and the ley line. Kind of love to see it. Okay. Choose production over here. Uh, when I look at our government right now, we've got discounts on resource upgrades, plus 100% campus adjacency bonuses. Boom, 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 boom. Okay, can we build a spy or anything? No. Uh, the sewer and the renaissance walls are the obvious go-tos. But, oh, hey, wait, wait, wait. We have enough population now we can build a new thing. We can build an industrial zone. We can build a neighborhood. That gives plus six housing. It's going to really raise the roof on what we can do. Um, holy site doesn't get any adjacency bonuses. Welcome, Harshan Shakar. Ronbent says, do you think Cleo would play with you if you enabled zombie mode? Uh, I looked into zombie mode in this game, and from what I read, it's kind of a little broken. Um, so we haven't, uh, I haven't tried it. Uh, let's see. So we could do, maybe we do the neighborhood and the water park, because we're going to need the amenities probably before. So we can build a nice little water park and get a culture boost right there. Although, wait, if we go to purchase tile real quick. Mm, okay, that'll get us a fish. Yeah, okay, so I think we do the water park. Ideally, we would want to do it right there to get the double culture, but this gives us three production from the adjacency, so maybe we'll do that. Okay. So back here in our capital, um, I think we probably want to produce another builder. Okay. But let's, let's go back up here real quick, though. Because we completed that tour to Bellum. What does that do? International trade routes from the city receive plus two gold for every luxury resource at this. Cities not on your home continent receive the lowest production cost city center building they can currently construct. That's nice. Um, so we probably got a few walls and stuff out of that. For the inspiration for opera and ballet. Yerevan is established as a city state now. Okay. Ah, oh, yeah, it's send your delegation. That sounds friendly. This guy does not like our cavalry because we have none. <laughs> sure, let's have an embassy. Goodbye. So we have this new builder here, and I'm thinking maybe we send him Okay, uh, okay, so this guy's already headed here to build the fishery there. I mean, in the short term, what is this city working? They're working like every tile. Okay. What do you get from the shipyard? It looks like not very much. Plus one production to all unimproved coast and lake tiles for the city. So there's a citizen slot 
but I don't know what it does. Okay. So that's that's a notable thing. Um Okay, so I think we want to send this trade route to where we set up the fancy Tour de Belém. Okay, this guy gains sources. Accept mission. Okay, so this guy... Industrial and modern era naval combat units. So I think that would include this frigate or this privateer. I don't... I wish it said what era they're from. Mercantilism. Renaissance era. Okay. So that's probably not. So this guy's not really going to benefit anyone. Plus one movement from Great Lighthouse. Plus 50% rewards from trade routes. I mean, so maybe I just consume this great person to get the gold and don't worry about the passive combat strength. Well, we'll have modern trade, modern stuff sooner or later. Uh, so I guess we'll just have him link up with these guys and go to sleep for right now. Okay, what do we want to build? We just completed a builder. And... I think we want to go ahead and produce a ranger to go explore. <laughs> okay, Ferris wheel will give us amenities from entertainment, plus two tourism, plus three culture. Okay, we're going to have that go on alert. We're going to have this guy come over here. That is within his borders. I need to have him leave the borders. Dang it. You want a turtle? And some niter? Have some horses. Okay. So now we can have him. Oh, we can't go through Hong Kong? Oh, you're kidding me. Okay. The University of Sankor. Scholars are the heirs of the prophets, for the prophets did not have did not leave behind a legacy of wealth, but that of knowledge. <sighs> okay, let's see what that gets us. Oh, that guy's mad. We built a wonder. So, the University of Sankor. Other civilizations trade routes to this city provide plus one science and plus one gold for them, plus two science for every trade route to this city. Domestic trade routes give an additional plus one faith to the city. Yay, plus three science, plus one faith, plus two great scientist points per turn. Yay. Okay, 
So what we really want to do now is we want to say we're going to build this orzogers. And we have to either replace this farm or this farm. We have to replace one of the farms. Let's replace the farm that's not doing the adjacency bonus thing as much. Hold on. And then we're going to have this great engineer go here. Grants 480 production toward, toward wonder construction. So that puts that five. Ooh, I can do that twice. What does Ada Lovelace get to do? Targets the Eureka movement for computers technology. Let's the city build one more district than the population limit allows. When did I unlock that? Because over here, if I try to produce anything... No suitable location, no suitable location. Oh, these are, that's location, not production, or not uh, population. Four turns until border growth. Interesting, okay. Margaret Mead. Great scientist. Okay. What's her great person ability? Must be on a tile owned by a non hostile foreign power. That's a weird one. Okay. This guy, we don't have any great works, so we can't do anything with him. My one town can't build due to population. Is this it? Just built the water park. Or we're building the water park there. So Margaret Mead. For some reason won't let us transfer to another city, right? Oh wait, wait, wait. No, you know what? When I hit transfer to another city. Where's the nearest, where's the city nearest, uh, another person? Okay. Yeah, I think that the one near Grand Columbia is the closest. So we're going to send Margaret Mead over here. Okay. As for this builder, go wait on these crabs. Okay, so Viber Viper says that we had a problem producing additional things because we need a bigger population. Yep, up here. Actually, you know, yeah, yeah, that's... Because this place is going to have a district problem with space, not population. So yeah, we send Ada Lovelace up to there. Why can't she transfer there? Is it because there's already a builder there? We go to Ada Lovelace. And we say move to. Here, we're going to have this guy go to sleep. Okay. So which trade routes do we already have? Is a lab 
That's in Arabia, not Ethiopia. Yeah, let's do that. We can trade route. Okay, we've got this builder here. We were waiting on an expansion to build some more fishing boats. Yeah, we're still waiting, looks like. So the builder here is going to go to sleep. Okay, privateer can go, go check that out real quick. Grand Columbia will let us make an embassy. Let's get open borders in exchange for... You want some niter? Want a turtle? Uh, you know what you want is a whale. Yeah. Okay, so this guy's not mad at us right now. So we can send Ada Lovelace over there with help from this ship. Or no, Margaret Mead. Okay. Great people list real quick. We're about to get a great musician and a great writer. Well, we can't recruit great writers. Okay. Okay. Begin voting. Um... Yeah, let's do Nobel Prize in Civics competition and earn double people toward let's say a uh, great engineer and we're going to do five votes and say states of this type do not provide their suzerain bonus, and we're going to say militaristic city-states. Let's really go all in on both of these. Next. We got all these voting powers. We might as well use them, right? Dang it. So the only thing that worked out the way we wanted was Nobel Peace Prize or whatever, or that Anyway, you and I come by road or rail, but economists travel on infrastructure. Big Ben and Stock Exchange now available. Okay, so Nobel Prize in Physics. Okay. The gold tier rewards. One technology boost increases the accumulation of resources in cities with the university by one. Okay. So, Ada Lovelace. Triggers a eureka moment for computer technology. It lets the city build one more district than the population limit allows. Boom, your knowledge of computers has advanced considerably. You'll love to see it. Okay. Choose research. Radio will show us where aluminum is. That's probably pretty good. I think, Ray McKay, that the joke is that economists see all roads and rails as infrastructure rather than as unique things. That's my guess. Uh-oh. Did we just lose our open borders with this guy? have open borders with this guy? What happened? Hold on. Whatever. I don't know. Trading post established a new civilization. So we have a trading post in Ethiopia now. Okay. 
Okay. So. We have... We can use Gustav Eiffel to complete this world wonder. The Orzagas. With self-government is freedom. And with freedom is justice. And patriotism. Orzagas. Woo! Look at that. Very fancy. Very nice. And what does that do for us practically? Well, for one thing, it gives us a Eureka toward flight for some reason. But the Orzagas gives plus 100% diplomatic favor for turn from starting a turn as suzerain as a city-state. And it gives plus 4 culture. Now, how are we in terms of suzerainty? If we look over here, we are suzerain of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6... Seven. Seven city-states. That's pretty good. Pretty good. Oh, because he's mad at us, he won't give us borders, apparently. That makes sense. He's decided to refuse to even consider it. Okay, that makes sense, Suzaku Gaming. Okay. So, ooh! Meanwhile, up here... We have expanded enough to get that, uh, to build a cocoa plantation. So let's go ahead, get a builder going on over this way. Um, okay, so, in terms of production here. Theater Square, Encampment, Neighborhood, Dam, Preserve. The thing about a dam is it'll give us a hydroelectric dam later, but we're nowhere near researching that, so I'm kind of not in a hurry. The theater square, though... Um, the theater square we can build here and there. Ooh, plus two culture from adjacent winters. Ooh. Uh, what other boosts from wonders do we get? Uh, entertainment complex doesn't get any sort of adjacency bonuses. The encampment... Honestly, the thing about the encampment is that we don't have one anywhere, I don't think, and so we kind of need at least one of every district to make the game happy. But, yeah. Let's do the theater square. Right here, I guess. Hmm. Rotation says, spent a solid three minutes watching the screen for Joe's face. Yeah, I'm up here in the civilization leader thing. We are currently six away from the first face camera expansion. And tips are welcome via paypal.me slash Hills and YouTube super chat. Oh boy. So, Margaret Mead, we need to get into... Oh, whoops. Probably shouldn't have gone that far. We need to get into enemy territory. Or, not enemy, but other civilization territory. So one thing I did yesterday was I ordered a new capture card so that I'll be able to capture Nintendo games. Um, waiting for the shipping information for that to show up. Okay, so we completed the water parks so and now we can build a Ferris wheel. Yay! 
Is that what we want to build, though? The industrial zone is also a, a nice to have one. Okay. So, trade routes. We want these to go to other civilizations, I think, to get the bonus from the wonder. And we already have... Um, if you look at trade routes here. We've got one to Arabia, and we've got one to the Dutch. We sent one to Ethiopia before. But I don't think we've sent one over to these folks in Ulaanbaatar. Passagardi will give us plus two science, plus two. Hmm. We've never sent one to Baltimore. Get plus two science, plus... I think we're going to do pass a guard here. Okay, I think we're going to have Ada Lovelace sleep for a little bit. So Gustav Eiffel, wait, he can actually do that trick one more time. Are there any other wonders I want to get started on in any other city, maybe? If I wanted to build a wonder over here... Big Ben, where is a bank, Oxford must be adjacent to campus, this place we're building Casa de Contracion, this place no, no wonders available, no wonders available. No wonders available. Okay, so this guy we're just going to have on hold for right now, I think. Next turn. Yeah, the encampment is good because it allows you to have more of the strategic resources in stock, like a storage facility.
Am I muted or did I stop talking? Oh, I sneezed and I didn't uh, unclick it. Hey, welcome Zloy Raiders. Welcome Liara Raiders. I am sorry. Yes, I was muted. Apologies for that. That's always fun. Yeah, we are dealing with Civilization VI. As you can see, I'm up here playing as Coupe the Navigator. And we are on Emperor Difficulty, which I've never played on before. Uh, this guy doesn't want an embassy. That's fine. We really only wanted to bother you about some amber. You want some turtles? Yeah. Enjoy the extra turtles. I mean, the only turtles you have are my extra turtles. Okay, we want to get some cotton. Let's go ahead and make a deal for some cotton. Trade you some turtles and some niter. And some iron. There you go. Goodbye. Civ does have a lot of focus, but yeah. If you're just joining me, normally on Wednesday morning, Zombie Cleo and I do an arts and crafts stream, but Cleo had a headache this morning, so we moved today's stream to Friday. So I've got all sorts of crazy stuff going on this week. Tomorrow, I have a morning mini golf stream in VR, Walkabout Golf, with Music Man. In the evening, I've got a showdown iron pinball battle head-to-head -head against Manu Smith of Mystery Pinball Theater 3000 at twitch.tv slash pinball network. It's at 8 o'clock Mountain Time, which we here in Central Time call 9 o'clock Central Time. Over there in the Pacific Liara, for you, that would be 7 o'clock. But, yeah. We are going to um, be playing Guardians of the Galaxy. I have a actual Guardians of the Galaxy pinball machine in my apartment. Manu has one in his garage that he's we're both renting it and uh, we're gonna be doing a head-to-head -head competition. I look like I'm cosplaying a 10 year old on that poster. Actually what happened was they sent me Manu's picture and we're like hey can you take a picture like this and I was like I could take a picture exactly like this. If you look at Manu on the left I spent about 45 minutes trying to get a shot where I looked exactly like that and I think I did okay it's not perfect but yeah that, that's that's kind of me making fun of Manu <laughs> photographically um so yeah choose production alrighty looks like a wrestling pro promo says Clarky. thank you burning paper giant says it's great thanks I appreciate it Okay, so let's go ahead and do Theater Square Festival. I mean, honestly, though, we just still need so much science. We're so far behind. We got people in the Atomic Era, and we're not. Um, okay, so down here. Let's go ahead and build the sewer, because that'll get us extra housing. Oh, we have an extra governor title. Ooh, so in the Hermetic Society here, unlocked in the Industrial Era, for every great person earned, ley lines you receive plus one yield equal to the great person's district type. Now, the question is, does that work immediately? Um, I'm not sure. So, so do the ley lines actually have a yield now? Is, I guess, the question. <gasps> they do! Okay. Now we're in business. Mahi Zero says, I love how you, much you look like your new Minecraft skin in that picture, which says a lot about your new skin. Thank you. Mouse Max says, why am I surprised you have an IRL at shirt? The thing is, that shirt is kind of not really a shirt. It's a prototype of a shirt from a manufacturer that's not very good at making shirts, and so we didn't go with them. But it means I have this one shirt that I can't really wear or wash because it will fall apart, right? So um, so there's that. So I, I know people are like, what, you, ha you, do you are making shirts? It's like, well, I'm trying. But yeah, uh, yeah. There's a reason you don't always go with the first person that tries to make merch for you. 
Um, okay, so we've got this builder here. We're going to send him up there to start building a chocolate farm. Yay, chocolate. Okay, let's get her into these guys' borders, and then I think we can use her great person ability. Oh, must be on a completed campus. Oh, okay, well. Then there we go. So Gustav Eiffel can only do his special ability when people are working on wonders, so we're just going to have him sleep for right now. For chance to dream. Okay, and we have uh, a musician, a great musician. The thing is, great musicians can only do their work when you have a place to store the music, and we don't. We don't have a District or Wonder with a proper great work slot, do we? Nope. So, there's that. Stargazer says, I have no idea what's going on, but it looks cool. Basically, in this game, you try to make the best civilization possible. There's a few ways you can win. You can win with science by building an exoplanet uh, spaceport. You can win with culture by getting a bunch of tourism. You can win with domination by capturing capitals, like Genghis Khan. Uh-oh, this guy is mad at me, for example, too. Thanks, Hammurabi. Glad you're mad. Don't know why. Uh, Genghis Khan has captured one capital. Other people might go for a religious victory. I'm going for a diplomatic victory. I have 9 out of 20 diplomatic victory points at this time. And I'm doing pretty well on this aid request thing. That'll learn me another 2. Okay. Genghis Khan thinks I'm great. Hey! Akkad is happy that we're a suzerain now. Awesome. Um... So, Saladin built the Hermitage Wonder. Dang it. A bunch of people just declared war on Genghis Khan and Cyrus. Boy, and Don Zhao. Okay. So, choose production. We completed the theater square. So we can build this uh, Marais building unique to the Maori. Plus one culture and faith to all the city's tiles with a passable feature or natural wonder. Okay. Yeah, we can definitely use some culture boosts. Oh, also, governors. We Oh, we have an additional governor. Two titles we haven't spent. Oh, okay. So, let's go ahead and look at this real quick. Um, Liang, we can get a boost to... Preventing industrial... Not sure I care about that. Pingala, he you can get plus science. Yeah. For each citizen of the city. And plus one culture for each citizen in the city. Uh, let's just do the science one for right now, because we definitely need that. Um, Amani. Um... Other cities within nine tiles not owned by you lose two loyalty per turn. While established a city state provides a copy of its luxury to you. I mean, that doesn't hurt. Um, actually, getting strategic resources from a city state is something we should be working toward anyway. So let's go ahead and do that. Let's go ahead and build a chocolate farm. Woo! Okay, let's have this guy excavate something and then make the locals mad at us. Choose artifact from Genghis Khan or Cyrus. Ooh. Genghis Khan. Your progress toward cultural has heritage has advanced considerably. Hey, glad to hear it. So, now that we've got two fully themed archaeological museums, or no, one fully themed. I was going to say, we can trade stuff between the two museums to get them both themed, possibly, but no, that's not going to fly. Okay. Now, if the industrial era ends in one turn, what's our current era score? Okay, we're, we're, we're on course for a golden age next round. I'll take it. Stargazer says, how does one get a diplomatic point? Um, well, like, there'll be things like where if a, if a civ is hit by a natural disaster, they'll ask for help. And then if you help them, you can get diplomatic points. 
Also, I should mention that we are $6 away for the next face camera expansion, and tips are welcome via paypal.me slash joehills. Okay. The world enters the modern era. Now, some people are mad we're entering a golden age, but you know what? That's fine. Let others say what they will, but the real flourishing of the modern era culture began with the discovery of nuclear program by the Maori. Boom. The release of atom power has changed everything, except our way of thinking. The solution to this problem lies in the heart of mankind. If only I had known, I should have become a watchmaker. So that's going to open up spies who steal a tech boost without being detected gain an extra boost and plus two great scientist points per turn for every great universe, every university, plus four for every research lab, plus two great engineer points per turn per factory, and plus four for every power plant. So we got to change some policies maybe. Um, I kind of want that spy one. Kind of want that spy one a lot. And also, let's go ahead and get limes to get a discount on defensive structures. Um, yeah, the plus two influence per points per turn towards each city-state envoy. I mean, that's really helped me so far. But, I mean, we've got two spies now set up in cities where they're going to start stealing stuff. So I kind of think we got to make that switch. Okay. Do I have uranium in my territory? Um, I won't know until I research it. So we're also on randomized um, research. Uh, we have a few... Um, they're kind of mods. They're custom game rules set up by the people who make Civ. Uh, one of them is Barbarian Clans, which lets barbarians turn into city-states. The second is Randomized Research, so you don't know what order stuff will appear in the tech and civics research trees. And the third one is the Secret Societies, which um, lets us be part of the Hermetic Order, apparently. That's the one I chose. Apparently one of the other ones has vampires, so I'm kind of annoyed I didn't choose the vampire one, uh, now that I know that. But whatever, that's fine. Anyway, we can make a dedication for this age. Okay, your trade routes cannot be plundered. International trade routes provide plus three gold for specialty district in the foreign city. Plus 10 production toward industrial era and later wonders. Campus district science adjacency bonus provides production as well. Uh, plus three starting population for cities settled on a different continent. Plus two movement for naval and embarked units. Plus two loyalty per turn for cities not on your original capital's continent. Um, let's real quick look at what is our loyalty looking like in our cities. Um, if anybody was going to have a problem with loyalty, it'd probably be Ruritoria. And we got no problem at all oh man you love to see it that ley line boost there okay Ooh, now that we've got oh we haven't expanded to the niter mine can we can we expand to the niter mine no why not do i need to like get like another tile next to the niter mine first we have money i'm just i'm just curious like if I wanted this night or is it just too far out? It's kind of annoying. Okay, but like if I wanted the crabs. Okay, I can get the hmm. Well, either way, we're gonna purchase a new builder here so we can at least go and harvest these crabs. Yeah, let's make our dedication bonus. I think we want reform the coinage to get uh keep our traders from being plundered. Okay, if we look at the civics tree now, opera and ballet, scorched earth, we get two envoys, two envoys, 
Whoops. I selected ideology because it lets you get an additional spy. I want that badly. Okay. So, and, uh, about our other stuff. Okay, so let's maybe keep doing campus research grants in the capital. Okay, this guy can now build fishing boats there. Um, two turns until border growth. Well, we'll just wait for that. Okay, uh, ancient walls or coal power plant. Well, we still don't have the ability to buy coal. So the theater square district. Encampment. Okay, so the nice thing about the encampment is we can build it really far away. Over here. Okay, so she needs to disembark. And then use her great thing to get... A science uh, grants a thousand science and a thousand culture on standard speed. Yes, please. Many dispute the start of the modern era, but you know it was when the Maori discovered radio. Radio is the theater of the mind. Television is the theater of the mindless. Seaside Resort unlocks the builder ability to construct seaside resorts. Provides tourism based on the tiles appeal. Can only build, be built on coastal desert, coastal plains, or coastal grasslands tiles. Minimum appeal of breathtaking. And the Broadcast Center. That'll give us a place that we can put our music uh, from our music person. Your progress toward mass media has advanced considerably. Awesome. We'll take it. That cuts our ideology research down to two more turns, too. Uh-oh. Um, what happened with our agent? They failed to steal gold and have to flee the city. Uh-oh. And they were captured. We can attempt to trade for their release. Okay. You want an embassy? Oh, we gotta wait until our turn. Wait, it is our turn. It won't let us do that for some reason right now. Huh. Okay, refining will let us see where oil is. Replaceable parts, upgrades, farm, adjacency, bonus, pastures, get improvement. Flight gives tourism on all improvements that provide culture. Boy, okay. I think we, we, we want to rush refining so we can find out where oil is. Okay. So this guy, we're going to have head back to our area here. 15 new city-states quests. Get a Eureka for military science. Uh, I apologize. I will cease these operations at once. That's why it wouldn't let me... I couldn't deal with her until she gave me that. Uh... Okay, so we build the embassy. Now we make a deal. We want the return of the spy. And we'll give you turtles. And lighter. And open borders. Fine. So we got our spy back at least. Our roads were all upgraded. We don't really have any roads because we're an island chain. Get an inspiration for military science. Get a military. Eureka for ballistics. Recruit a great musician. Recruit a great admiral. Train an ironclad. Recruit a great musician. Trigger ballistics, trigger military science, ballistics, send a trade route, opera, and ballet. Okay, so what are the 
Eureka's for military science. Kill a unit with a knight. Ugh. Have two forts in your territory, both constructed by a military engineer. Yeah, there's no way those are going to happen in a realistic amount of time. Okay, so we got our spy back. Who takes no time to establish in an enemy city. Uh, when we look at the science tree and we want to see who's the furthest ahead. Hammurabi and Saladin. Okay. So... Hammurabi's already been kind of grumpy with us. Let's establish an embassy there. Okay. Okay. Travel to New City. Babylon. Although, yeah. Okay, confirm placement. And should have those turtles shortly. What are those? Portuguese cultists? Uh oh. What does the cultists do? It helps if you spell it right. Support unit unique to the Void Singers. Once it dies or loses all charges, its sacrifice awards the player a relic of the Void. Can move in foreign lands when not at war. Can use a charge to recruit followers, causing the city to lose loyalty. Okay, so they're going to basically attack the loyalty of my city directly and try to get it. Oh, and good, there's a cannon. I think Portugal is about to make some problems for me. Well, this guy's glad that we have a big population. You're welcome, Genghis Khan. Okay. So... If Portugal is at war with Genghis Khan, maybe they're just busy. Allied with America. Okay. Welcome, Minecraft Severge. Okay. What was the city state suzerain bonus that we needed? Plus. Oh, well, yeah, we couldn't build those anyway. Okay, we got a trading post in Hong Kong now. A bunch of declarations of war. storm somewhere else. Okay, we're going to choose production. Um, broadcast center makes sense because we need a place to store music and we don't have one. So let's go ahead and do that. Down here, um, we need to build at least one art museum because we don't have a place to store art right now, and that's an ongoing problem. Uh, medieval walls or aquarium? Well, the aquarium... will give a bonus to coastal resources, and we have at least one of those. No, we have a few of those, actually. So we want the science boost there. This guy can now build a turtle net. Yay, turtle net! Uh, we're going to transfer this up here so we can take advantage of our tour de bella okay so this builder okay these crabs down here don't seem to have boats on them next 
turn. Yeah, our cities are pretty good here. This privateer can just kind of stay alert for now. Refining. Engineering is the art of directing the great sources of power in nature for the use and convenience of man. We now know where oil is. We can build oil wells and battleships. We've also unlocked ideology, a civic. Slowly, ideas lead to ideology, lead to policies that lead to action. That gives us the ability to construct an additional spy. We can also... Get adjacency bonuses for things. Open borders with all city states. Yeah, so let's get that. Um... So plus 100% campus and industrial zone bonuses. Probably replaces the one that we had before. The defensive thing is gone. So let's do maybe military academies, seaports. And Renaissance walls generate plus two science. Because we've got a few seaports. No, we don't have any seaports. And we have almost no Renaissance walls. Mm. I don't know. Uh, I'll improve coal and niter and give what, plus one resource per turn. That seems reasonable. Boy. This open borders with all city states and plus four influence per turn seems fantastic also. Even if it makes our spies a little bit slower. Uh, for the diplomatic victory, I think we need that. Oh, you know what I should have verified? Oh, that's... Okay. So, let's see. Combustion movement for all embarked units. F upgrades farm improvements. Yeah, I kind of want that upgraded farm improvement. Choose Civic. Opera and Ballet and Scorched Earth. Yeah, let's just do... Yeah, let's do Opera and Ballet, because then that'll get us to Civil Engineering, so we can build farms on hills. Yeah, that'll be nice. Okay. We can build a Broadcast Center here. Okay, right now we're getting all of our power from city-states. We don't have any power plants, but it's working well enough um, that I'm kind of just like, eh, we'll keep it for now. Okay, we can build a neighborhood to get plus five housing, but we had to remove that lumber thing. So I'm kind of thinking we'll hold off on that for right now. Um... Or is population of 16 or greater? Well, let's go ahead and have this person try to siphon some funds. Okay. Oil. But it's an offshore oil rig, so we can't do anything with it yet. Where's our other oil? Okay, so this, this resort will give us plus four gold. Our first seaside resort opens in Tuamatu, to the delight of all our people, except for one small child whose snack has been carried away by a seagull. Bom, bom, bom! Okay. So, this trader, we need to go to a civilization that we don't necessarily have. Anything set up with yet. We haven't been to America. Whoa. Haven't been to America. Whoa. Uh, or Tushpa. I mean, honestly, these are equivalent, but this one's closer. So. 
We're the route to America. Whoa. Yeah, the seagull was indeed like, that's my snack. Okay. Bonus to tourism for trade routes. Diplomatic visibility increased by a trade route. Oh, that's cool. Okay, interesting. Um, so let's see where the rest of that oil was. Okay, so we've got offshore oil there, there, and there. So we need to find in the science tree, where is offshore oil rig? Is it anywhere that we can get to? Because we're in randomized science mode, so it could basically be anywhere. Combined arms will get us huh boy okay honestly let's just do replaceable parts first although being able to build the mountain tunnel and research research lab wait research lab we want that's that's a good one we want research lab that's good for sciences and we are still, if you look at the science tree here, Hammurabi and Saladin are in the information era, and we're back here in the modern era. So there's an entire atomic era between the two of us. Everything about nukes they have and we don't yet. Ooh. Fishing boat time, fishing boat time. Everybody likes to rhyme about fishing boats. So that's one, two, three. One, two, three. Yeah, so. Two, three. So those turtles there, we could actually get. To the turtles. The unveiling of a new museum is drawing people to the arts. Perhaps dance and opera are next. Your progress toward opera and ballet has advanced considerably. Woo! So we got an extra envoy in two city-states now from that. Eureka. This storm is raging on, but it's not our problem. Okay. We completed the barracks. Which gives us extra stockpiles. Um... can build an armory now plus 25 percent combat experience for all land units trained in the city strategic resource stockpiles increased by 10. okay we want the broadcast center most i think here that's gonna start we're gonna start running into power issues i think but Anyway, we've got some extra envoys here. So we could become the suzerain of Hong Kong. Uh, get a boost towards city projects. That's not a huge one. Uh, your trade routes generate plus one gold for every five tiles they travel. Hmm. 
I think that might have gotten us two suzerainities, which will give us some Raj bonuses, but I'm not sure. I don't think it did. <laughs> Good try, buddy. Armory also gives military engineers, right? Oh, that's a good point. Yeah, we do need military engineers. Uh-oh. Is that the bad spy noise? Did our spy get caught? Or did another spy steal from us? We'll find out. <laughs> Opera and ballet. Ballet projects a fragile kind of strength and a certain inflexible precision. Okay, so we can build the Bolshoi Theater now. We can get extra culture from buildings and theater squares if we want. Um, okay, so choose civic. Civil engineering, I think, is the one we want there. Alrighty, Ray McKay. So we got two more here. Okay. Go to Hong Kong. And these guys. Okay. So we got a suzerain there. Enemy spy siphoning gold. Oh, dang it. An enemy spy stole, stole 9,000 or 900 gold. That's That's too much, man. Actually, that, that is, like, literally too much. Um, what are we building here? Broadcast center? Yeah, but maybe while we're at it, we also, I don't know, buy a grove? I'm actually curious if the grove does anything. Um, partially because I wanted to see what it unlocked later. It didn't. Oh, boy. That figures. Okay, so we can build a workshop here. Right, let's go. Let's go to one of our newer cities that doesn't have as much stuff set up. So we're building the campus. Okay. Hmm. Okay, so we just got to Babylon. We can do gain sources. Put in some fishies. Okay. Okay, we require plastics to build the offshore oil rig, it seems. Oh, we can now, though, purchase a military engineer, maybe? Nope, we're not far enough along in that. No, maybe, maybe we purchase that over here. No, we have to get the armory, maybe, until we can purchase a military engineer. Hmm, unclear. So we're one turn away from getting the armory done. Then we'll try build, doing the military engineer thing. We'll see how that goes. OK, 
Okay, we'll have the builder go to sleep. We'll have the scout go here. Plus 20 diplomatic favor. Then we'll have him head here. Okay, we got the fishing boats built here. We can go to a lumber mill and a mine, I guess. Hey, Jake Blade. Glad you could join us. Okay. Well, let's go ahead and work on the ancient walls, I guess, while they're still relevant to get the tourism later. We're not trying to win on tourism, but we don't want anybody else to run away with it either. Yeah, I have an embassy. Thank you for the follow, Jake. I'm doing well. We're playing some Civilization VI, which is one of them Sid Meier's games. Basically trying to build the best civilization in the world. But so are like 10 other civilizations, so there might be some conflict there. We'll see how it goes. Okay, we boosted our knowledge of satellites because of building those uh, radio broadcast towers. Also, we've unlocked the civic civil engineering. Improvement makes straight roads, but the crooked roads without improvements are the roads of genius. That unlocks production toward builders. Uh, newly trained builders gain two build actions. I like it. Plus 15% production toward all wonders. Ooh, I like that. Statue of Liberty. <sighs> we need to rush the Statue of Liberty. Must be adjacent to a harbor built on the city. Cannot be built on a lake. Must be built on the coast. Oh, okay. We're going to get that wonders one. We want the wonders one. Because we want to build the Statue of Liberty super fast, like zoom, zap, zow. We need those. So we're going for a diplomatic victory. So getting four diplomatic victory points. Right now we have nine out of 20. Four would get us. Uh, so we need 11. That would get us a third of the way left. We're doing well at this uh, Nobel Prize thing. We're doing well at this aid request. Uh-oh. This guy's going to try to jump us on this. 390 at the last minute. Not on my watch. Let's go give Jow some money. Enjoy $1,000. Boom. <sighs> this guy thought he could sneak past us. But okay. So, uh, meanwhile, what are we doing? We are working on, we have to choose a new civic. Conservation will get us three envoys, let us build national parks and purchase naturalists, allows builders to plant woods, woods in your territory that have never been removed, gain plus one repeal, get tourism from walls. Build the Sanctuary Building. Grants one science and gold to improve charming, unimproved charming tiles. All improved aluminum and oil get additional resource per turn. This is a pretty good one. Um, two envoys in three turns, though. I think we're going to go for the sh sooner one anyway. Okay. So, we can now produce the Wonder Statue of Liberty. Why not? Why no suitable location? Must be adjacent to Harbor. Cannot be built on a lake. Must be built on coast. Okay. We were one turn from completing Statue of Liberty, and we have a great engineer who can help. Okay. So, or from one, one turn from completing the Broadcast Center. Okay, so that's what we're going to do. We're going to have those guys build the Statue of Liberty up here. 
We're going to do another science project. Up here, we're going to go ahead and create the uh, Renaissance walls before they're obsolete. So we can get the tourism boost from that. Over here, uh, we're going to do the medieval walls for the same reason. Over here, we're going to do governor title. And can we promote this guy yet? Not until the Atomic Era. Okay. So, let's go ahead. We were going to promote Amani to get the get strategic resources thing. I th yeah. Back. Okay. Because where do we actually send Amani? She is currently in Johannesburg. Should we look at our city-state list? Um, Johannesburg. Cities receive plus one production for every improved resource type. After researching industrialization, it becomes plus two production. Nice. Okay. The one that we get the power from is Cardiff, though. So if we need to, we can shift her to Cardiff so we don't lose our electricity bonus. Um, okay. So this scout, is he stuck here because of... Okay. So Marcan doesn't want to be our friend, so we can't go through there anymore. So, first thing we're going to do is we're going to delete this pin. Then we're going to have this guy go on alert until we can get some envoys. Chemistry. Chemists do not usually stutter. It would be very awkward if they did, seeing that they have at times to get out such words as methyl ethyl amyloamphenolamium. That unlocks the research lab, the AT crew, and the mountain tunnel improvement. Boom. We won the gold tier rewards. Two diplomatic victory points. Take that, Joe. Uh, or Simon. Simone. Whatever. Either way. Victory points wise. We are now nine points away from a diplomatic victory. Which is fantastic. Which means it's the perfect time to go ahead and start constructing the Statue of Liberty. Uh, right here. We're going to have this guy come over here. This great person. Add 480 production to it. Boom. We are now four turns away. Those coastal tile yields are, are uh, fantastic. Thank you. You're fantastic. Okay. So having completed chemistry, can we find plastics in the tech tree? Everything's randomized. So there's a good chance no. Okay. So we need... Let's see. So the problem is we can't build offshore oil wells until we get to plastics. So this will give us seaport to boost own two privateers. Um, I think we could buy a second privateer, right? Oh, wait, wait, wait. Anytime we buy a naval unit, we're going to buy it here because of our Venetian arsenal. Your crafty privateers are intrigued by the discovery of electric current. Could they be used to create stealthy propulsion? Boom. So now we have a boost toward that. City is unpowered. Okay, so that city completed something that it isn't powerful enough to do yet. But if we purchase with gold a... Oh, we don't... Do we not have a harbor? Hold on. We must have a harbor. 
Um, hmm. Gosh, well, the problem is, yeah, so that's what I was going to say, is if we if we could build the seaport for the extra electricity from Cardiff, but, okay, so in that case, let's, let's, we're going to switch that research over. That's part of why we just bought that privateer. So we're two turns away from fixing that. Akuinu says, does it mean you also leap some in the tech tree or just random node? It randomizes where things are in the tech tree and then hides them all so you can actually only see what's available um by unlocking stuff with eurekas or by studying the things directly before them so it randomizes it and then conceals it so you have to kind of play the game as you go all these cultists rolling in trying to steal my loyalty i don't love it Oh, now this guy likes me because I helped him. Oh, and he's now he's he's mad because I'm part of the Hermetic Society. Womp womp. Okay. Yeah, everybody's mad at me for not being in the same society as them. Okay. Well, the Grey Shark Clan has been destroyed. Another attacking tank force. Watching the, uh, sorry, walking the quads and lingering outside the classrooms of the campus near Ruatoria, you can hear the scholars debate the ideas that will change the world. You have completed your civilization's first campus with a starting adjacency bonus of three science or higher. Fantastic. Pyrox says people start trying to prevent you from getting diplomatic victory after you have 15. I often like to delay the Statue of Liberty. Well, the thing I'm worried about is. Um, well, for one thing, I didn't know that, so I can't really honestly pretend that I'm being strategic about this, uh, but the thing about it for me was that, um, I keep getting other people, other people keep finishing wonders before me. I have had really bad luck with wonders this game, and so I'm worried if I don't build it immediately, I won't have the chance. So, let's get these Renaissance walls in before we can't build them anymore. So we can get the uh, boost there. Okay. Uh, this has a population thing. One turn until growth. Um, well, you know what? Let's go ahead and... I think we really want to build the harbor here is the thing. We can buy the other stuff. You know, with like money. We can buy the library and the sewer, but we have a great person who can give us a workaround here. So we're going to send Ada, no, transfer to another city, Ruatoa, and I guess we'll start working on the library for now. If you want to see if someone else is building it, you can search for it with Control F. Oh! I didn't realize that that would show uncompleted wonders. Hey, good morning, Sammy. Or, yeah, I was going to say this morning, where you are. Because that's how the rotation of the world works. Or something. I'm not an expert. Okay. Electricity. If it weren't for electricity, we'd all be watching television by candlelight. That unlocks the seaport building, the hydroelectric dam building, the oil power plant, the submarine. Convert to oil power. Scorched earth. War is hell, according to William Tecumseh Sherman. But what does he know? Okay, so now we can get production towards settlers. We can... Okay, in terms of changing policies. Um... I kind of think I want to do military academies, seaports... And Renaissance walls generate plus two science. Because we're building a bunch of Renaissance walls and we're about to build a bunch of seaports. 15% construction toward all wonders. We're going to maintain that for now. For now. 
Um, everything else here. Open borders with all city states. Plus, yeah. Okay. This privateer, we're going to have chill for now. Ruatoria, do your. Uh, uh, let's have Ada Lovelace fix your population issue. Boom. You can build an additional district. Okay, flight. Combustion. The problem is we don't know where plastics is. Plastics is either here. Or, well, wait. Actually, we can find. We can narrow it down. Is plastics in the atomic era? Seems to be. Yeah, okay. If plastics is definitely hiding somewhere in the atomic era, then we need to research combined arms so we can f open up all these. Which means we need to research replaceable parts, which will give us mechanized in uh, agriculture, which is nice as a treat. Um, okay. Mass media will give us the Broadway Wonder, Christo Redentor, and a governor title. Three envoys. Building of national parks. Uh, yeah, let's stick with this. Intrepid Mr. Rico says, I always have trouble playing Civ because I always want to play military, which is the absolute worst thing you can do in this game. Yeah, it's really frustrating how difficult it is to play. Uh, a militaristic Civ. That's one of the reasons I kind of just don't. I, I avoid playing as them entirely. Um... Okay, so we completed the Renaissance Walls. Let's go ahead and work on the seaport so we can get the extra electricity. I think that's going to be the, the obvious go-to here with the Cardiff boost. Also, because we absolutely don't want to lose that suzerainty to Cardiff, we can go ahead and send two more there. Confirm. Next turn. Do we have an art museum yet? I should check on that. Oh, we do. We should probably send one of these people to a place that has... Uh-oh, one of our spies might be caught. Okay, well, that's not great. So, I'm going to send this artist here so they can get there next turn. How are we on fishing boats and builders? Uh, looks like we're going to purchase a new builder here. Actually, wait, this is the place that has the seaport electrical issues. Okay, so we're going to fix those, but we're also going to purchase the new builder. Why can't we purchase the builder? Because there's already a non-combat unit on that tile. Okay, that's fair. How are we doing on power everywhere? We have electricity from our seaport buildings everywhere except up here. So that's why we have to get the harbor in next turn. Okay. Hmm. Four usable power of two required, four usable of three required, four usable of nine required, or three required. Six usable of five. Okay. I am going to search for Statue of Liberty real quick just to see if anybody else is building it besides me. Only one. That's a good sign. Uh... 
Okay. So, first thing we're going to do. Um, okay, that fire doesn't affect us. City unpowered. Okay, so in our capital here, I'm going to produce a seaport in three turns. That's, that's an easy one. Uh, we're going to have this great artist come down here. And we're going to have them create some great work. Boom. Okay, so for this great musician, if we want them to go somewhere that has a broadcast center, we need them to travel to here. Okay. Meanwhile here, we can purchase a builder with gold and have them go start working on the new fisheries issue. Okay, we're going to need a seaport here to power the research lab. So we're going to do a seaport. We're going to do a seaport. And, okay, here we're going to build a harbor district. Hmm, plus two adjacency bonus seems to be the best we're going to get. So Harbor District is now under construction. Oh, we forgot to trade to get our spy back. Uh, this person has joined another secret society. So, uh, everybody's mad at us because we're not in their secret society. But that guy's mad at us because we have a small military. Did another spy just get caught? An enemy spy stole a tech boost to satellites. So people are targeting us for stuff. I don't even think I had the tech boost for satellites. But in the meantime, here at our sea wash sunset gates shall stand a mighty woman with a torch whose flame is the imprisoned lightning. Ta-da! It's the Statue of Liberty. Okay. First thing we're gonna do. So, at least our Babylonian spy is doing their job. Okay. Can you try and steal a technology, please? Just, just as a treat, it'd be fantastic. Because nobody else is doing their jobs. Okay, great musician, come here. And uh, create a great work. Boom, there it is. Rokudan no Shirabe. Fantastic. Thank you, somebody's doing their job. It's appreciated. Okay, we can build this research lab now here. We can build another great work, a landscape. Yusef and Zulekia. Here we go. Unit needs orders. Builder. Uh, come upgrade this with fishing boats. Meanwhile, uh, we need to go... I think this guy was the one with our spy. Yep. How about some incense and turtles? And... Okay. Four hundred. Okay. Gets our spy back in the game. Okay. Oh, boy. So. Honestly, I'm not as sure who else is ahead of us in science. Let's look at the science tree real quick. Uh, Saladin and Hammurabi, I think both... Well, no, Hammurabi hasn't caught us, but... Wilhelmina has. Um, traveled to New City. What about Washington? 
Baltimore has science. Let's try going to Baltimore. Hey, Flannel Punk. Welcome, welcome. Mass media. If you don't read the newspaper, you're uninformed. If you read the newspaper, you're misinformed. Okay, Broadway is a thing that gives one free random atomic era civic boost, plus 20% culture in the city. Um, plus 100% tourism from seaside resorts across your civilization. Must be built on hills, plus four culture. I mean, both of these are looking pretty good. We do still have that uh, Wonder Boost um, thing active. So it would not be crazy. Uh-oh, this place already has a great work. So we're going to have them go to a different broadcast center up here. Uh, also, yeah, I think when we look at our great works, Yep, yep, yep. We have only one art museum. Terrible theming. Okay. Ooh, we're starting to be able to see other governments at this tier. So <clears throat> let's try rolling the dice and trying conservation and hoping that opens up something good for us here. We got a governor title. Are we in the atomic era yet? No. So we can't do occult research. Yet. Yet. Um. Hmm. It's a shame that we can't put a science district on that horse island. Alrighty, mini chess mouse. Catch you on Friday. Okay. Fishing boats. Oh, no thanks. We don't really need it. Teddy oh. completed Oxford University. Bologna has made peace with Genghis Khan. The fire has ended. World Congress awarded me four diplomatic victory points. Hey, we've researched completed replaceable parts. For a machine to run smoothly and predictably, its parts must be standard and hence replaceable. So that gets us plus one food adjacency bonus from every farm improvement. They're adjacent to pasture improvements proceed plus one production. We can now build the grocery store or the food market as they call it in neighborhoods and we can build infantry. Okay. Ten turns remaining on the Nobel Prize in Physics contest. We can claim a great musician. Sure. <laughs> We got an envoy from two city-states as a result of that.
Mega Colossal Volcano erupts, not next to us. Okay. So here in our capital, we completed the seaport. We can build another spy. We definitely want to do that. Why is there no suitable location to build these districts? Like, if we go... Is it because the Maori can't destroy resources? We can't just override that pasture? Or the corn? Or the wheat? Is that the problem? Is there a way to swap that tile with that city or something? Can't place on resources. Got, gotcha, Hildebrand LaCroix. And because we can't extract or harvest the resources playing as the Maori, there's, we're stuck. Okay. See, this is, this is how we learn, is by playing, and that's fine. So yeah, let's stick with building the spy here. We get to send some envoys. We're going to send another one to Cardiff to maintain that suzerain bonus. Um, do, 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 do. Um, your civilization gains plus two culture for each great person that has ever earned up to a total of 30%. Ooh, that's actually pretty good. How much of a culture boost is that going to give us? We go from 290 to 380. 290 to 380? That is wild. Okay, so we have got a second music great work there. Um, now, I think we want to have this guy head down here so he can put his great work there. Okay. And this artist has nowhere to go until we build another cultural district. Uh, which city state was it that gave us that gave us that boost? Um, um, boy, which one was it? It was Antanarivo. Okay. So, one thing that I think we want to do, well, not yet. Let's think this through. Ooh, there's some fish and crabs we couldn't get before. Ooh, and some over there. So, as the borders here expand, we're getting new places that we can actually harvest. We have fishing boats on all of these. These are deep water, so we can't do anything with them. Got a builder over here. Send him out this way. Um, yeah, so these oil rig or offshore oil opportunities are going to be an opportunity later. Right now, they're just... Until we, until we can research plastics, we unfortunately just cannot harvest... Or, um, not harvest. We cannot process oil offshore. They're outside of the city's work range. I can't see between turns. So wait, like if I look at this city's work range, okay, so like if I came here and I built a, a plantation, I think I still get the silk, I just can't get the production bonuses or whatever. 
Okay, so we got another great work of music here. That guy's done for the turn. Okay, so those fish wouldn't be worth working, but the whales being a luxury resource would be. Right? Yeah, because I can't even send people over there to... Oh, I see. So... Okay, so this builder... I'm going to send him over here. Okay. Uh-oh, I hope there's not uranium down there. I was actually thinking of settling this later, but... We'll find out in four turns um, where the uranium is. Okay. Um, okay, let's go ahead and do this research lab, I think. Well, workshop is cheap and fast. Now that we've got this uh, shipyard or seaport generating electricity, uh, Dungeon Dave, please don't yell in all caps. We will save the whales, though. Don't worry. But yeah, take some time to read the rules in the stream description. Okay, so let's go ahead and build this plantation to get the silk. We are now out of broadcast centers to take this guy to, so we'll have him go here, I guess, right now. Okay, we'll have this guy hold off on additional builds because we want to have him do the oil later. If we switch to settler view, whoops, that wasn't it. We could put a new settler here and then be able to work that. Uh, I mean, that's not a huge boon. But uh, if we sent a settler here. Um, hmm. Okay. Choose production. Okay. Um, we want. Oh, we want the hydroelectric dam actually. So we're gonna build a dam there. So we lose a little bit of food, but I mean these guys are doing well on the whole. The unit needs orders. Okay. So we can build the fishing thing. But it's been pointed out that would be outside the work radius. So that's not super helpful. That means those two are also completely unhelpful. Ooh, okay. Um. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, maybe we have this guy just come back in for now in case we have anything damaged by spies later.
Okay, so we have our new spy. I'm gonna have him go to... What's the place we haven't promised not to spy on yet? I don't think we ran into that problem with Grand Columbia. So, yeah. Confirm basement. Choose production. Hmm. I just had a curiosity over here. Could we purchase one of the military engineers? Okay. So that does count as part of that. Okay, cool. cool. I mean, maybe we start working on a settler with the idea being that we might want to claim some uranium later. Especially if there's any up here or over here. Honestly, that ley line adjacency bonus is way better than it was before. So maybe we send a settler up to there. There's a lot of possibilities. Okay. So, sewer or research lab? Research lab. This guy is going to go to sleep. This guy... We're going to have wait to do the oil. Once we find plastics. Actually, let's maybe have him stay ashore. Just in case there's any surprise piracy. This guy's going to go to sleep. Boom, 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 boom. This guy, if we build the fishing nets, are they workable? Oh, wait, wait, wait. We want the fishing nets so we can harvest the whales. So if we look at our resources reports now, we've got three whales. Nobody else has any whales. You know, I feel bad for them. Is there somebody that would like whales? Oh, you have spices. Would you like whales? Um, yay, goodbye. So in terms of our city status and amenities, we're doing good on amenities. This guy is annoyed that we're good at culture. We are catching up on science and culture per turn. But we're like so far behind is the problem. Trading whales for saffron, yeah. Conservation. Water and air, the two essentials on which life depends, have become global garbage cans. It lets us build the sanctuary building, the naturalist unit, which lets us build national parks, Awards three envoys. All aluminum and oil resources gain one additional resource. Per turn. Okay, well, let's see what we got here. This production toward wonders one is the obvious one to swap out, assuming that we have no more room to build wonders down here. Once we get this dam done, are there any wonders that we could or want to produce? Broadway and the Bolshoi Theater are both looking pretty good. And we're not ready to do the hydroelectric dam upgrade, I don't think. So maybe we'll just leave that on for right now. So let's see. Ooh, ooh, ooh. The civics tree is unlocked. We can now see that we have class struggle. That gives us three military ones, three diplomatic ones. The problem is we don't really need the military one. So I almost want to check if democracy is the hidden one here. And that'll also let us build shopping malls. Fantastic. Okay, so this guy, go ahead and come ashore for a turn. Okay. We can build the Renaissance walls now before they're out of date and get the science boost. So let's do that. Let's have this guy go to sleep. Let's send some envoys, woo! Okay, we got two on oh three envoys to send. Um bum bum ba dum bum. You know, in some ways getting the boosts 
from the upgraded buildings on the science ones would be good. Okay. So we'll send one there. Um, we can get a boost to every factory or consulate. That sounds nice. And this guy doesn't have a suzerain. Your cities have full housing for water as they were next to a river. Yeah, let's do that. And we completed a trade route in Johannesburg. Many dispute the actual start of the Atomic Era, but you know it was when the Maori discovered combined arms. Better to live, or sorry, better to fight for something than to live for nothing. So now we can make destroyers, aircraft carriers, and uraniums. So. Let's see. Um, having completed that trade route, we actually probably want to, want to transfer that trader to Wakarawara. Okay, we have a settler here. And, oh, we didn't see where the uranium is. First technology of new era. Oops. Whoa, no settler. Don't. Okay, cancel. Okay, we're going to have this guy come escort the settler as well. Okay. So, we want to look for uranium eight results okay so one of them we can't settle next to anyway because it's completely enclosed one of them's under Cleveland basically These two are in Portugal already. This one's already in Cahokia. Who is Cahokia suzerain? None. We have three envoys there. So we could possibly become their suzerain by moving our trading, uh, our, our one lady there. Oh, hey, hey, hey. Here's some uranium on an island chain near us anyway. That's looking promising. Way better than that one. That one is problematic at best. And then we're back here. Okay. Uh, let's do a manual save, having hit this huge milestone on turn 245. And let's have our settler slash that guy. Okay, so for one thing, Ferdinand Magellan, you're, we're going to break your exit. So, so we want the settler... To create a formation with the caravel. You can go here for Nama John. Then we're going to choose resources. Uh, or choose researches. Wow. Okay, so we've unlocked a ton of stuff by getting uranium. Is one of them plastics? It is. That'll let us build the offshore oil rigs and give us plus one food to fishing boats. Um, wow, all of these are pretty good, but... Okay. Choose production. Okay. We can build an aircraft carrier. We can build a build a frigate fleet, a privateer fleet. Hmm. 
Yeah, yeah, that's right. Uh, Wanganui is the one with the Venetian arsenal, so we really shouldn't be bothering creating these guys here. Yeah, you're right, you're right. Hmm. Okay, I think we're just going to keep doing the campus research grants projects here. Meanwhile, back down here, we can build a neighborhood here, which is going to remove the woods and the lumber mill. But, okay. So we want to go where the uranium glows. Way down in Kokomo. So there's turtles there. Okay. I think we want to settle here, and then we can build a uranium mine there. And have room for some districts. Okay, spy, gain sources, please. And next turn. <sighs> this guy definitely already has uranium and coal. We probably do want to take some coal just so we have it for building ships when we need it. Yeah, we can get more niter easily. Okay. So let's look at our civilizations we have trade routes to. The Arabians, the Americans, Mogadishu, Dutch Empire, Mongolian Empire. So... Who on this list isn't in those? Okay. Well, we've done there before. We've done there before. Where have we not been? Hmm. Let's do show results all temporarily. Taruga, Auckland, and Buenos Aires all have a city-state mission for us. Are any of those worth getting an extra envoy to? Shallow water tiles you own provide plus one production. Uh, that's actually a really good bonus. Um, Buenos Aires. Uh, your bonus resources provide or behave like luxury resources, providing a bonus amenity per type. Oh, that's actually been super huge for us. So maybe we want to keep them happy. And yeah, what is in Taruga? Plus five science in all cities for each different strategic resource. I think we go ahead and shore up Buenos Aires then. Because it's also close by. So that'll be good to do. Choose production. Okay. Hydroelectric dam. Can we purchase the hydroelectric dam? Oh, yeah, we can. That's a perfect example of the sort of thing that we should just buy outright so we don't have the city underpowered. And let's see, sewer and medieval walls. The sewer will give us a bonus to housing, which we're going to need soon. Oh. Um, See. The preserve will give us extra housing as well. The water park. Okay, in terms of like things that would give us any sort of boost to things, your adjacency bonuses. 
See, this neighborhood here would let us get plus five. Yeah. So that's plenty of housing. Let's go ahead, though, and just build the medieval walls, though, to get the tourism, and we can get the renaissance walls before. Because that's the one thing we can't buy with production. Meanwhile, I'm over here, and I'm like, oh, I can just buy a market or a sewer or a stock exchange with money. Um, okay, so over here, we have completed the harbor. So let's go ahead and start working on another hub. Adjacent to the ley lines, we can put in that for culture. We can put in a holy site. Oh, wow, that's a pretty good holy site. Um, we put in a commercial hub. That's okay, too. Wait, Panama Canal and Christo Redeemer. Oh, Christ over Dentor. Hold on, hold on. You know what? That means... That means that there were... We were... Oh, we're so silly. We forgot to look at the wonders down here. I was so excited about the hydroelectric dam. I forgot that we wanted to build either the Bolshoi Theater or Broadway. Um... Yeah, let's build the Broadway one right here. And, oh yeah, let's make sure that nobody else is building that. Two results. Wow, that one's almost done. Yeah, Ethiopia is about to, about to have that nailed down there pretty well. Uh, so if we search for Bolshoi, who else is building the Bolshoi Theater? That thing is barely started, though. So we might be able to catch them on that. Hmm. Uh-oh. It looks like once we start producing it, we can't stop. So, or we can't reclaim that square easily that we were going to put the other one in. So, yeah, I guess we're stuck losing at Broadway. Hopefully that won't be a huge whole thing. Um... But yeah, building the holy site with the plus four bonus seems like pretty good. Meanwhile, over here with money, we can purchase an alchemical society. Um, and we can purchase a lighthouse to power the city. Yeah, we can purchase a research lab. And we can purchase a shipyard if we wanted. But I don't think we need to. And the square will reclaim when the other guy completes the wonder. Okay, the problem is that if we're racing on both the wonders... Okay, so you're saying just wait until the other guy completes the wonder? Okay, fine. We'll, we'll do medieval walls. Uh-oh. Our guy got caught. I'm going to escape on foot. Agent captured every time. Every time my spies get captured. Um, he's not going to be able to make a deal with us until he threatens us. So let's do a manual save. That might cause the threat to process. How are we doing? We're making no progress toward a normal age. We're, we're about to veer into a dark age, too, it looks like. Oh uh, boy, that's not ideal. Yeah, I have had really bad luck with these agents. Okay. Why are the... Hold on. I Somehow, I turned off resource icons without intending to. And it was really messing with me. Okay. So let's just have him give me a extra copy of turtles and some free gold, I guess. I 
Okay. Oh, wow, there's a lot of oil near that uranium down there, too. Okay, that guy doesn't like that we're in the Hermetic Society. This guy is glad that we're not building on hills. As we approach the noon hour, I should mention that we are $6 away from the first face camera expansion of the stream, and tips are welcome via paypal.me slash joehills and YouTube Super Chat. Woo! Okay, so we got plus three R score for building that neighborhood. And we can kind of... If we look at our great person points here... We're close to getting a great merchant. France Toys, a luxury resource. A uniquely manufactured luxury resource. Ooh, I want that. Okay. Okay. Hey, we just got a $10 tip. Thank you very much to Sammy. It doesn't look like there's a note, but I'm wondering if that's correct. Well, either way, let's go ahead and get that on the board, and then when the alert properly processes, let's see, that puts us four past our next phase care expansion milestone. So here we go. It's time to say howdy y'all grow hills here expanded as i always do in nashville tennessee dang it where's my face d d d d d d d d d d d d alrighty so we're gonna hang out down here in the map let me make sure i'm gonna make obs larger so i can make sure that's lined up right okay now it needs to be more like that and like that yay we did it hi Okay, so we're going to shrink OBS back down again. Oh, no, there isn't a note. But either way, thank you very much, Sammy. Appreciate you. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Let's go ahead and figure this out. We've got... I mean, I think we just need to keep keep pushing on science. Like, real hard on science. So yeah, we're going to do campus research grants here. Up here, we're going to go ahead and build a factory. How are we on power here? We have six power of six required, so might be more viable for us to build something else. Like a Ferris wheel to get three culture and two amenities from entertainment. Yeah. Choose production. We can build a food market here. I kind of wanted to hold out to build the mall, though. Because it's not like we're starving or anything. We have plenty of food. We'll have the mall in a few turns. So let's go ahead and do... Uh, Industrial zone logistics isn't really super good because we've already got electricity. Harbor shipping gets you great admiral points. Encampment training gets you great general points. Let's do just extra science. Hey, welcome Sawyer Kedler. Capitalism. Always try to rub up against money, for if you rub up against money long enough, some of it may rub off on you. That unlocks a bonus to great merchant points, a international trade routes giving extra gold, 
as well as plus two culture and plus two science. Ooh, I like that. And a shopping mall. That'll give us additional tourism and amenities from entertainment. So let's see. We need that one. The trade route boost replaces the one we had there. Um, this military academy, seaports, and renaissance walls generates plus two science. That feels pretty good to me because I'm building a lot of seaports. Maybe I could build more military academies. But, you know, it's fine. The great engineer points per turn seems to be working out pretty well for us. So I think we're going to hold on to that one for right now. And we're going to confirm our policies. Now, we do have to choose a new civic to research. Did we unlock democracy? Yeah, we did. One military, three economic, two of those, and two wild cards. Okay, that looks good to me. So we're five turns away from an expanded government with more policy options. Okay, so down here, um, we're going to go ahead and work on those Renaissance walls so we can get the science boost. Choose production over here. Oh, boy. Harbor shipping? Hmm. Yeah, I don't know. I think, uh, actually, let's start working on a builder, because as soon as we get plastics, we're going to need... We're going to need builders. Okay, so... This guy is ready to found a city, basically. I think if we do it here, that's optimal, because... A lot of these things will be in range, but really, if we just go down... Brr, brr, brr. Yeah, I mean, because there's a lot of oil at play here. So let's unlink. Uh oh. I just unlinked, and I think we're gonna we're gonna found our city here. Let's see. So this one's a rainforest. This one is woods, old growth. We want to be on the same side as the oils, so we can get to them f sooner. Does Mogadishu like us? Kind of. Okay. So that bombard is unlikely to try and claim our settler, but if it does, I'm going to be super mad. Okay, this guy will give us our captive back now, finally, for open borders and the Shroud of Turin. <sighs> if we remove the Shroud of Turin, what can we offer him? Turtles he doesn't want. <sighs> Fine. Fine, we have the Shroud of Turin. It's Fine. At least we got our incompetent spy back in exchange for this 1,990-year-old treasure. It's slightly younger, but still. Core concept. Okay. So, we have founded a city. Um, first off... Let's buy some things. We're going to buy a monument. We're going to buy a granary. We're going to buy a builder. And then for choosing our production... Oh, wait. We are back up here. Um, How many builders do I have? This guy has four left. This guy is... Okay. I mean, it occurs to me we're going to have a lot of builds down here, though. So you start heading down here. Four turns. 
Okay, uh, let's go ahead and get a new... What do we want? Canvas research grants, I guess. Choose production. Ancient walls, holy site, campus, harbor. I mean, harbor feels right because that's how we get the free electricity. Ooh, four harbor. Yeah, that's a pretty good adjacency bonus there. Okay, we've got a spy back who can't travel to Babylon anymore. We have burned that bridge. How many spies... How many, how many places have we not infuriated? I guess, I don't think, I don't think we've gotten kicked out of Addis Ababa yet. Can I see what I've promised people by clicking on them? Like, um, view gossip, view important information. View real relationship. Okay, so minus four for spying on them. View emergencies, view grievances, look. Okay. Um, negative five for spying on them. Okay, so Cirrus as mad I never declared a surprise war Genghis Khan is a member of a rival secret society okay so we never sp but okay wait wait so in terms of hold on so Menelik he's not mad we spied on him so we're going to start spying on him now Viber Viper says, for me, buying a trader at a new settlement was great for jumpstarting them. Yeah. Oh, we are short a trader. I didn't realize that. That's a great point. Okay. Um, who can we promote, though? Reyna can get the Harbor Master. Double adjacency bonuses. Commercial hubs and harbors. Do, 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 do. Actually, let's go back over here and maybe look at... Whoops. Let's look at promoting Almani. So... Puppeteer, while well, established in a city state, doubles the number of envoys you have there. Confirm. Okay. So, we need to find a city state that has strategic resources we don't. Specifically, we have oil and uranium now. I think coal is the big one that's holding us up. So if we go to the city-state list, and we want to see what um, what they've got. Crabs, iron turtles, one deer, one turtles, three wheat, two horses, two niter, furs, wine, cotton, no resources, two fish, one incense, one spice, two silk, two crabs, one honey. Turtles. Okay. Nobody's got coal anyway. So that's fine. America has a new seaside resort. Good for you, America. What does the current Armani City State have? Nothing really of value, sadly. Okay, plastics. In the hierarchy of the major poetic substances, plastic figures as a disgraced material, lost between the effusiveness of rubber and the flat hardness of metal. 
that lets us upgrade our recon units to spec ops, which can para drop. We've got offshore oil rigs, which lower appeal, but do have production boosts and add plus one food to fishing boats. So anywhere we have a fishing boat, it's now better. Okay, so we're gonna move, transfer this uh, trader to our new city of Kalia. And we're gonna have, okay, we need one oil to upgrade that unit. So we're gonna have this guy build a mine. Your progress toward adventure politics has advanced considerably. That's nice to hear. Um, okay, so what other builders do we have out there? Now that we can do these offshore plastics or oil farms, we want to get on that, like, zip zip. Okay, what other builders are asleep? Okay, this one's resting. Okay, Caravel is chilling. So let's go ahead and gain sources here in Quito. Gonna choose research. Wow, we got a lot of stuff to choose from now. Plus one from Quarry, plus two gold to camps. Flight seems like a pretty good one because that gets tourism on all improvements that provide culture. And. Our tourism right now is 138 per turn. I think that's going to blow up like crazy. Flood barriers are also possibly super viable. How are we on worried about climate change? Really? Not a lot of CO2 because of the way that we're using power. Okay. Sea level, next sea level change expected in 128 turns. 0% polar ice loss for 81 turns. Okay, so we're not in a super huge rush to build flood barriers, although you really want to get those in before it starts. Um, nuclear power plants could be nice to have now that we've got uranium. Building a spaceport might be super good anyway. Yeah, let's let's just uh, make the spaceport an available thing for us to build. Uh, okay, so we can build an aquarium and a factory here. Power-wise, we have six power available, and we're using all of them. The aquarium doesn't use power, but I think the factory might. Yeah, sewer doesn't use power. <clears throat> Plus science to each coastal resource. Ooh, we do have a lot of coastal resources. So yeah, we're going to build that aquarium. Shopping mall or... F Shopping mall gives us gold. And gold when powered. And tourism. It's not like we're short on food. Hmm. Let's go for tourism. Welcome back, Sawyer Kevlar. Okay. So our hydroelectric dam is all working here. So. Okay. Let's see. We can build the holy site for plus one up there. I think we want to save our thing generation for, uh, or our district generation for the spaceport getting completed. Okay. Um. Bread and circuses. When active, each of your citizens here exert plus one loyalty pressure to the city. Affects other cities within nine tiles. There's 10% less effective per tile. Once completed, instantly gained 20 loyalty in the city. I mean, we're 100% loyal. We have plenty of amenities. So harbor shipping gives us gold and great admiral points. That's not going to kill us. But let's say that we kill production. How, how does everything else look? 
It doesn't really change it at all, does it? Oh boy. Hey, welcome in Credit Mike. Um, Tabby Tax Smolder's web says, what victory type are you going for? Uh, diplomatic. Although, this is my first time playing on Emperor, so I'll settle for whatever I can get. Okay. Wow, this city is sadly kind of a... Oh, you know what we should do is let's work on another builder, because we're going to have those offshore oil rigs we need to build everywhere. Yeah, we got two envoys to send as well. Um, we're still trying to catch up on science. So maybe we go ahead and get this boost to our research labs here from Baloney. Although... Um, we kind of want to hold on to our suzerain status in the places we have it. Because mm, we do get that suzerain boost from the uh, Raj benefit. Um... Well, okay, so Cardiff we're holding on to for sure. Okay, you know what? Let's just go for Milta and get the uh, research boost. So we're at 474 science per turn. That's going to boost us to 496, which if we weren't like a whole era behind the people with lower science than us, I wouldn't be as freaked out, but we're kind of playing catch up on science. Are there floating structures you can put on the water? Not as much as I would like at this point. Oh boy, we need to hold on to our coal, so no thank you. Would you like a turtle for less gold? Oh, you already have a turtle. You would not like another turtle. Okay. Hey, welcome, Mr. Hardluck. Glad you could join us. Mr. Hardluck! Do do do. Do 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 do. Do do do. Do 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 do. Okay. Chimes, enchanting, incense, and icon, the holy site of Ruatoria begins worship or brings worshippers and pilgrims into contemplation of the higher matters. You have completed your civilization's first holy site with a starting adjacency bonus of three faith or higher. Ooh. Your knowledge of ballistics has advanced considerably. Your knowledge of guidance systems has advanced considerably. And we won the Nobel Prize in physics, which got us a tech boost and the accumulation of resources in cities with a university by one. So that's good. Mr. Hardluck says, Queen Dark Lady and I started our first game of Civ 6, and I think we have mixed feelings about it compared to Civ 5. That's fair. I mean, Civ 5 was absolutely fantastic. Yeah, I'm, I get it. Okay. So, we are going to set up a trade route here. What will give us the best productivity is the real question. Production. Five production, three food. Okay, because right now we have five food. Yeah, so that's gonna that's gonna increase both of those by fifty percent. You know that's kind of a no brainer. So begin route. Next, I'm gonna choose production. Um. We just completed campus research grants. Get a university in the Uranium City. I know, I know. The thing is, the Uranium City, we literally just founded. We are building our second improvement here now. Um, but yeah, I mean... Yeah. Okay, great. We've got a volcano that's active. Okay, choose production. Uh, let's do campus research and grants again. 
up here now that we've got that going um, let's work on the shipyard will give us power the canal the neighborhood let's see so we have plenty of yeah, let's work on the shipyard right now down here. This caravel we can't upgrade yet because we don't have any oil yet. So we're going to have that go on alert. This guy. Oil rig. Boom. We actually need to build another oil rig up there. I'm realizing. So we're going to purchase with gold another builder. Have him head that way. That guy. Oil rig. Boom. Why don't we purchase with gold? Uh, you know what? It's fine. We'll we'll make another builder up here. Okay, so this builder, how's he doing? He's going down here. Plus five production. That's really good. Okay. So. Out of curiosity, is that within farmable range? No, of course not. That would be fantastic if it were. Okay. And Credit Mike says, I found Civ 6 actually runs better on my uh, bad MacBook than uh, Civ 5. Yeah, they rewrote a bunch of the AI code um, to take less time per turn. Because I think Civ 6, uh, or sorry, Civ 5 ran on, like, I think a Lisp engine or something. And there was actually a thing where you could replace um, your computer's Lisp interpreter to get a boost to that performance. But, yeah. So your Kettler says, I never played this. Is there a way you could start as a singular person and you have to make a civilization from the ground up? That seems fun. That is how the game works. Uh, we are well into this game. Okay, hold on. We gotta figure out some stuff here. Um, no coal power plants. Let's just let's just burn a bunch of points on that. Ooh, player wait gains two diplomatic victory points. That's me. We need to actually put everything towards that. Uh. We're only going to put one vote into this. Then we're going to put... What DLC is this? We've got Barbarian Clans to City States expansion. We've got Randomized Research expansion. And we've got... Uh, what's the other one? Secret Societies. We're currently playing as the Hermetic Order. So let's have everybody give me two victory points, please. And... Oh, yeah. Nobel Prize in Literature. I can't actually generate great artist points, but I can generate a lot of great writer points. So, or not, sorry, great artist and great musician points. So yeah, let's go ahead and submit this. We'll see what people say. But yeah, uh, Sawyer Kettler, you do start off as one person. So, chosen player loses two victory points. No, they outvoted me because they're jerks. Boo. That makes me sad. Um, so they're going to try and hold me back diplomatically. Okay. Hmm. No points earned toward great admirals. Uh, oil power plants are banned. Well, I wasn't really going to build any of those anyway. So that's fine. I mostly just wanted the oil so I could trade with other people. But I guess now it won't have value for trading, so there's a downside there. Um, okay. So there's a new strategic oil resource there. How close is this guy going to get this turn? He could get... 
there this turn at least, basically. Okay, let's have this guy produce another builder then. Uh, Mock Malakosa says, hi, nice beard. Thank you. Appreciate it. Okay, so having constructed this oil rig, where is the nearest unrigged oil? I think that would be here. So let's head that way. We're accumulating 15 oil per turn. It's fantastic. Okay. So this builder is here. Oh, whoops, I was going to have him go there, I guess, this turn. Yep, that's the... Oh, that's the same... Wait. Okay, these guys are just piled up on top of each other. That's, that's what happened there. This guy has four left. This guy has three left. You know what? Actually, I guess what I should have done... You know, it's fine. We'll worry about it. It's a problem for later. This guy wants to offer us a great work of writing, which I don't think we can actually put anywhere. In exchange for oil and coal. Let's try accepting it and seeing what happens to that great work of writing. Does it actually go somewhere? Because I don't think I'm allowed to have writing. Oh, interesting. It went in my palace. I didn't even know I had a palace. I've been living in the streets. That was... Maybe a mistake. But yeah, um, so you start as one civilization like 6,000 years ago, and then you play through kind of the mid to early future. I'm an emperor of the people living in the streets. Exactly. Suffrage. Men, their rights, and nothing more. Women, their rights, and nothing less. Susan B. Anthony. We have unlocked democracy. Your trade routes to an ally or suzerain city provide plus four food and plus four production for both cities. Alliance points with all allies increased by an additional 0.25 per turn. Um, inherent effect. You know, maybe I should be trying to make friends if I'm going for a diplomatic victory, I'm also realizing. So that's a thing to be aware of. So let's go for democracy here. That'll unlock an additional wildcard slot and an additional commercial slot here. The honorable traditions of the past will still form part of the new government of democracy that the Maori has chosen. Okay. So... Let's look at these wild card slots, because those could be fun. Um, so we've got a great engineer points thing. Um, bum, 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 bum. Oh, you know what? Maybe we should do the spy boost. Spies operate in 50% less time with that extra slot there. And then from the yellows... Uh, we got 15% production toward all wonders, but we're not actually using that right now. Let's do... Um, extra culture from buildings in theater squares. Extra signs from buildings and... Extra signs from buildings and campuses. Um, and then plus 100% campus and industrial zone adjacency bonuses. So our current faith, or sorry, our current um, science output is four, 416. We're going to confirm this agenda, and it jumps to 541. That's pretty good. It's pretty good science. Okay. So this guy has, gain, has the opportunity to gain some sources. Okay. Baltimore, we have gained sources. So let's go ahead and... Uh, try stealing a tech boost. And maybe we'll actually succeed for once. Just as a treat. Uh, mobilization will give us a governor title. I want that because I think now that we're into this era, 
we can get this final boost on the secret society, the Hermetic Order, and unlocks occult research, a city project that provides gold while active. We got a bunch of idle cities. When complete, it provides great people points and science for every ley line in the city. Oh, well, not all of our cities have ley lines, so that's the thing. Spy takes 25% less time to get captured. Thanks, Fiber Viper. I feel better about that. <laughs> Catastrophic volcanic eruption. Sources gained. First tier 3 government, plus 2 era score. So, 13 to 33 turns until the next era. And we are... Seven error points away from avoiding a dark age. Or, um, okay, so we're going to build another builder up here because I realize that we have a deficiency or deficit. Uh, Wanganui. Ooh, ooh, look, at we, we unlock some things. Royal Society, National History Museum, and War Department. Okay, so the National History Museum gives four slots for any great work, plus one governor title, Democratic Policy Legacy Card. So this one, builders gain the ability to use all their charges to provide bonus production to a district project once per city per turn. That was super duper handy for winning that science victory for boosting that. Um, but I don't want a science victory. I want a different victory. Although, neither of these really seem like they're going to be super helpful for a diplomatic victory. Um, I mean, I get one governor title either way. But, like, I think we go for the four slots for any great work, because not being able to have... We've got a huge backlog of great people, and we're not taking advantage of it. Ooh! And we can now farm gypsum over here, apparently. So maybe we should do, you know, some of that. Maybe I should have also established another little city over here, like, just as a treat, now that I'm kind of looking at this. Hmm. Yeah. Oh, there's a few places here where people could have water or control of the oceans that I don't like, too. Yep. Twisty one says, gypsum. Yay, drywall. Okay. So. Oil rig. Okay, we're going to purchase this tile here rather than waiting six turns for growth. And we are going to use the time to build another oil rig. And we're going to come up here next turn. And let's see. Looks like one of our trade routes just completed. What was that policy with the trade routes? Plus the science gold culture and faith this trade uh, to suit places your Susan Ranov. Rocket science has been mythologized all out of proportion to its true difficulty. John Carmack. So we get plus one production from quarries, which we don't have any of. Missile silo improvement and launch Earth satellite. Okay. So, I think we want to build a spaceport now. I think that's a pretty high priority thing. Okay. So, this trader, I think we want to have relocate to our newest city, Kalia. Okay. So, we've got this builder here. Um, 
Honestly, I might have built more builders than I needed to in the immediate present. And I regret nothing. Okay. Nukem. Uh, don't yell in all caps, please, uh, twisty one. It's against the rules. I'm going to time you out so you have a chance to read those. Okay. Alrighty, bye, Sawyer Kettler. Have a good day. Okay. Computers and then satellites. Additional spy. I love additional spies. Because mine are doing great. So we'll have this guy come hang out here for now. This one's heading here. Oh boy. For some reason, I really thought I didn't have any builders, and apparently I just overproduced them massively. Okay. So, here we go instead. Um, I can produce a spec ops guy. Choose production. Factory. Although, power-wise, that might not be... It's going to oversaturate us. Let's maybe go ahead and build a... Let's see, we've got so much oil now. We kind of almost might as well start working on ships. But... It's silly to build ships outside of our... Uh city that's optimized around them. Get an additional spy to trade when captured. Yeah, I'll trade you one of these spies for this other spy that you haven't captured yet. That's that's my favorite. Okay. So, fishing boats over here. Okay, so, I mean, in all fairness, we do have a ton of stuff to improve over here. So maybe we just send all these guys over this way. Uh, well, we'll keep this one here for right now. And this one's going to go to sleep. This one's going to improve the crab boats, which then gets us those crab boat tiles. Are we allowed to work that crab boat tile out there? Yeah, we could. Okay, yeah, so we definitely want to get improve that. Oh, and there's more oil up there, even. Like, there's a lot going on here. Twelve turns until the harvest complete, but one turn until growth. Third citizen will let us grow a lot quicker. So let's see how quick we can get this harbor done. Okay. Okay. So, which of these city states are we suzerain of? So we can get that suzerain bonus. Hong Kong, Venice. Wow, Venice plus four food, plus four production, thirty-one gold. Two, yeah, that's where we're going. Begin route. Okay. So, how close is this guy? Oops. Okay. So what do we got here? We got a lumber mill. Okay, let's have this guy. The nice thing about the fishing boats thing as the Maori is every time we build a new fishing boats improvement, it does a culture bomb on the around on the border nearby. So we're getting free tiles by buying some of these tiles. Okay, so this guy is done here. 
we wanted to buy a tile here, we can't. We'll naturally expand that way, but we're not getting anywhere with it. Okay, unit needs orders. This guy's going to sleep. Let's go look at the great people list real quick, because we got 5,000 faith. So, we could really just, uh, this district's regional buildings provide plus two production. This district's regional buildings reach three tiles further. What is, so regional buildings would be like, if you had a power plant that went nine tiles, it would go more. Hmm. Okay, so this builder is going to go to sleep. Okay, one oil. Zero says, Joe, don't forget lunch. I just realized the stream was still going after I turned it off earlier this morning. Uh, this is about how long the craft streams usually run. Don't worry. Okay. Yeah, I have an embassy. I wish there was a spy progress board. I, that's one of the big things that's missing in this. Is There's no spy report thing. Espionage. Oh, there is! Oh! <gasps> Wait, I only have three operatives? I really thought I had more operatives. Luke, yep, we're playing Civ 6. Computers. The good thing about computers is that they do what they tell what you tell them to do. The bad news is that they do what you tell them to do. So, hey, that does unlock another spy slot. We can a spy slot. City activity. Oh, I can see where I've spied before. Maybe. Can I? No, I can only see current activity. Mission history. So we failed. Steal nanotech in this. Wait. So we stole nanotech, but we were captured. Mission to steal gold. Failed. Still gold failed. Still gold. Okay. I feel like I failed a lot more than that. I feel like this mission history is missing several spies or something. But either way, claim great person. Let's go ahead and recruit this great engineer. Um, so, regional. What? Can, can anybody say what districts have regional boosts that you would want to apply that to because I, I mean I really think that's basically the amenities districts like the zoo um, upgrade and the carnival or whatever uh, the water park and then that is what power plants maybe it's for industrial zones ah okay so what does it do for what is the regional boost for industrial zones okay just industrial zones and amenity districts got it okay so we finish the sewer. Let's go ahead and make the flood barrier. Some wonders have a boost like that. That's a good point. What wonders have a boost like that? Okay, so with this guy selected, we can go see if any of our wonders would have a regional boost. What is this one? This is the industrial zone. This is industrial zone. Okay, so... Yeah, none of our wonders have that kind of boost, apparently. 
can't be used on wonders. Okay. So some wonders do have regional boosts, but it's worthless uh, for that. So the thing is that the regional bonus from the industrial zone would normally just be the power plant, right? But we don't have any power plants because we're getting all of our power from city-state suzerainting. Um, and also a hydroelectric dam. Hmm. Tesla's not really great for them due to their play style, or for the Maori due to their play style. Yeah, I'm realizing that. Well, you know what? We're just gonna go for it, I guess, and, uh... Let's get the plus two production at least, right? That's that's nice to have. Power, power plants give extra production whether or not you're using them for power. Yeah, but uh, the, the, the World Congress banned oil power plants, and I don't really have any coal, and I haven't built any nuclear power plants yet. So, yeah, we're going to be... Yeah, we don't really have power plants. We... We have one hydroelectric dam, and that's it for everything. Um, so, yeah, that's that's where we are on that. Okay. So, what would be smart to build here? We're going to get this oil strategic resource soon, but maybe we buy toward it. And then we build another oil rig to get the production boost. Okay. Boom, boom, boom. One turn until growth. Cool, cool, cool. Uh, Statue of Liberty was not boostable by Nikola Tesla. Okay, a volcano is erupting over here. That seems bad for these folks. Hopefully our spy doesn't get killed in the process. Okay. Um, I mean, we could technically build a farm here, but I'm not sure. It's not like these people are hurting for food. And we probably will end up just putting a district here anyway. So... Let's see, how long would it take to get those turtles? Would those turtles even be workable? Nope. Would not be. Well, then that guy's gonna uh, go to sleep for a bit. Okay, five turns until we get our harbor we wanted. Okay, up here we still have that power problem, which means we don't necessarily want to build the factory right now. What did we just get done building? The flood barrier. Okay. Okay, let's look at our Eurekas and see if there's anything in the tech tree that we'll get a boost from that we don't have built. Uh, build two biplanes, build two aerodromes. We don't have the technology for flight yet, though. Uh, maybe we should go back and do that. Uh, build an aluminum mine. Yeah, okay, so nothing in the tech tree jumps out at me there. And in the civics tree, research nuclear fusion. Okay. So none of these really jump out at me as stuff that I want to build immediately. Um... Let's maybe just do campus research grants for a little bit. We could do this sanctuary, but that's not actually going to give us anything because the adjacent tiles aren't within range of our city. Mm. I mean, we can do the factory and just have it run unpowered. And then we'll have it for later when we do have more power. Choose production down here. 
Flood barrier we're going to want now. Although, do we have spaceport? Spaceport, no suitable zone. Ugh. We're going to have to possibly build a whole new city to build our spaceport in. Because we've maxed out our districts on the ones we have. That's really foolish of us. Ooh, okay, wait, wait, wait. Unlocked in the atomic era. Why can't I do it? Isn't it the atomic era? Hold on. It's the modern era. Wait. I want, I want to do a promotion here. Maybe I can't do a promotion here until I... Hmm... Welcome back, Twisty One. Okay, so why can't I unlock this? I think I'm past the Atomic Era. If Is the modern era not past the Atomic Era? Grumble, grumble, grumble. Grumble, grumble. I feel like it is. I feel like, like I should be able to unlock this. But if they're not going to let me do that... Um, maybe we just do the... We can, I mean, Pingala is going to be good for space production. Atomic is after modern. Okay, cool. Well, let's work towards space initiative with Pingala, I guess. Next turn. Okay. So, meanwhile, we've got Tesla down here. If we wanted to have a... So, yields. If we wanted to boost the industrial zone of any city in particular. Honestly, this is the one that can probably build the spaceport later. So maybe we just have him do that again. So that'll give us the, the production boost for the spaceport. It doesn't matter if you research it into atomic text and civics. Thank you, R. Roberts. Modern is First World War, Atomic is Second. For some reason, I had it in my mind that the modern era was the era we live in now. But I guess we live in the information era now? Don't worry about it, Twisty One. Okay. So, real tips, though, are welcome via paypal.me slash showhills and YouTube Super Chat. We are $16 away from our second face camera expansion. We've been streaming for 4 hours and 18 minutes. Woo! When they are preparing for war, those who rule by force speak most copiously about peace until they have completed the mobilization process. Okay, so we can now create armies and armadas. We can declare wars of territorial expansion. And we have unit maintenance reduced if we want. I'd rather keep the things we've got here. Spy operations take 25% less time. Ooh, spies who steal a tech boost without being detected gain an extra boost. That's actually a really good one. Um, are we actually using those great engineer points per turn? Let's let's look at that real quick. Let's look at that real quick. Hold on. Okay. Agent Tui has gained sources of knowledge, so we can try and steal a tech boost now. Oh, boy. The odds of success there are not great. Not great at all. We can try fomenting unrest. But I think we want to roll the dice on the tech boost. Because I have bad judgment. Okay. Um, so looking at the civics tree here, we don't actually even know what's hiding here. But we, ooh, if we want the spaceport district or the space race boost, plus 15% towards space race projects. The city has a military academy or seaport. Uh, okay, so we gotta do that first. Uh, we can't promote this guy yet. But we do have an extra promotion here. Um, Let's see. Magnus the Stored. Plus 20% growth in the city. Trade route sending here provide plus 2. Food to their starting city. Increases power... Produced by... Uh, well, we're not producing power that way. Uh, which city is Reyna even in? Taumatu? I'm not sure what kind of harbor bonuses we're getting there. Uh, 
Oh, we're actually getting a pretty good harbor bonus there, actually, I think. Toggle city details. Harbor. So we're getting Hmm, I'm not sure how to show the actual adjacency bonuses is the problem. So I don't know what the adjacency bonuses are. Okay. Well, Faith, I am glad that you are enjoying the show. Thank you. That's very kind. Okay. So we got to choose production. Flood Barrier is the no-brainer for anything. Um, do we actually build a farm here yet? We don't actually... Nope. Okay, we're also going to just real quickly just buy a builder. Send him over here. What did we just finish here, actually? Hagia Sophia, Christo Redentor. Can we build the spaceport here? Yeah. So we'll probably end up building the spaceport here, even though it doesn't have an industrial district or a bunch of the other stuff. It was the number next to the... It was four gold. Okay. So. Harbor Master. Well, no, hold on. We are making a lot of money already. So I kind of feel like we really need to look at what the options are for what we don't have. Um, so you cannot be put under siege. Bonus to nuclear projects. Um, religious strength. Is Coupe an OP sieve? Trying to destroy my friends, by the way. Um, well, being ocean going from turn one is a huge advantage for all sorts of stuff. So, yeah. Let's go ahead and. Uh, plus one culture from each citizen. Yeah, for turn. We're, we'll stick him there for right now. There's no way to, like, use a builder to remove a district, is there? Like, once you start building a district, you're just locked in. Or once you've built a district, you're 100% locked in, it sounds like. Okay. Looks like our happiness has dropped some. People are only happy, they're not ecstatic. That means we probably have had a bunch of our trades expire. Yep. Satellites. A satellite has no conscience. So we can launch the moon landing project and build solar farms now. And we stole a tech boost techno successfully. Stealth technology. Boom. Many dispute the actual start of the information era, but you know it was when the Maori discovered satellites. Okay, so that spy can now choose a mission. Um, we can't steal a tech boost in that city because apparently we have they no tech boost left to steal. Um, so maybe we send them to a different city. If we send them to Habar, there's an entertainment complex, a water park. They don't actually have any money places. What happens if we send... 
What happens if we send a spy to a city-state? Can we steal... Fabricate top competitors to lose for envoys. Hold on. Oh, that's how... Okay, hold on. Is that going to be the only thing for all city-states, regardless? Hmm... Okay. Well, let's see. I don't think we've gone to Brazil yet. Do they have... They do have tech to steal. So let's go. Choose research. Uh, let's go with flight so we can get an aerodrome built. Finally a good spy. I know, right? Districts are indeed locked. Okay, good to know. Thank you, Nicholas. Okay, uh, I think we want to build the flood barrier here. Because we're already maxed out on traitors. And... Okay, so this guy in Baltimore uh, is up for a promotion as well. If caught on a mission, have a much higher chance of escape. Yes, please. Considering how many of our guys get caught on missions, I'll take it. Okay, so we've got this paratrooper that we can have just kind of rock hop across here. That's fun. Ooh. Okay, I kind of want to just have him go and explore this uh, village that... Oh, nope, somebody cleared it. Let's remove that tack then. Okay, well then in that case, I kind of want to have him go to Mongolia and explore through here. And let's go ahead and make a deal with this guy anyway. While we're at it, we're out of olives. You could use some incense, yeah. Oh, I forgot to do the, whoops. Could I also get open borders in exchange for a bit of uranium? Oh, he doesn't need uranium yet. In exchange for a bit of niter? No. In exchange for a bit of oil? Yeah. Goodbye. Actually, you know what? Let's establish a resident embassy, too. While we're at it. Let's just, let's just embassy everywhere. We got some money. No. Let's make a deal. Oh, you don't have anything I need. Let's go to the resources list here. We've got turtles. We've got olives. We don't have... Oh, we do have furs. Uh, we don't have mercury. So let's talk to Hammurabi of Babylon. Hey. You want to get rid of some mercury? It's toxic. Oh, you already have turtles. You don't want turtles. You've seen those before. You want uranium? No. You want oil? Yeah. Okay, resource list. Let's keep going down. Washington has cotton. You want an embassy? Nope. Okay, you want to make a deal? I would like a cotton, and I will give you a uranium. You want? Nope, nobody wants uranium. We're too early in the game for it, but they love oil. Why not declare some friends? That's a great question, Viper Viper. I actually don't understand how the friendship thing works in this game. And so I'm kind of scared, too, because I don't want to end up in a weird situation. We're eligible for an alliance. So it's not the same thing as actually having an alliance. Okay. What What is the benefit of declaring friendship? They can't go to... They can't declare formal war with you? Trigger the Eureka for advanced flight. Okay. Who needs friends when you have uranium? Good question. Uh, let's see. Keep going down this resources list. We did cotton. We have spices. We have incense. We have silk. Nobody has two amber. This guy has one truffles. Menelik. Buddy. Can I have an embassy? Yeah. Awesome. 
Can I also interest you in some turtles? Oh, you have turtles. Can I interest you in a single barrel of oil? Yeah. Okay. More in Super Tea Beans. Mr. Hardluck says certain trades like single gold payments can only be done through friends. Ah. Alliances are more of the benefit, especially under democracy. What are the benefits to alliances? Your trade routes to ally or suzerain provide... Oh, okay. Because right now I'm just doing them to the place I'm a suzerain of. Alliance points with allies increase by an additional 0.25 per turn. Yeah, because I've been avoiding friendship in this game because I don't want to get pulled into a war that I'm not ready for. Uh-oh. This person is mad that we're touristy. But we're still friendly on the whole. Hmm. New Barbarian Outpost, we're at. Hey, your progress toward class struggles has increased considerably. Nice. Your factory workers clamor for better working conditions. It's time for the workers of the world to unite. For once you have tasted flight, you will walk the earth with your eyes turned skyward. For there you have been, and there you will long to return. Okay, you can't get pulled into war without a military alliance, but you do lose relationship with the enemy of your alliance. Okay, gotcha. So we got tourism improvements on all improvements that receive culture, so we're up to 212 tourism per turn. We can build the airstrip. We can build biplanes, observation balloons, aerodromes, and hangars. Okay. So where is this barbarian outpost? Oh, right where I wanted to send that scout. Okay. Let's go ahead and bribe these barbarians so they don't attack my city. Just as a treat for right now. You know, honestly, now that I'm looking at these two ley lines here, is this, um... Putting a city right on this river mouth and getting that oil would not be crazy, would it? I mean, we already have so much oil, but somebody else is going to do it if we don't. And there's two ley lines there, which give you a huge boost to things. I don't know. Extract an artifact. Okay, we're one away from combustion. Let's just do that. Uh, buildings can be enhanced with power. Yep, okay, so what's our problem here? Yeah, we just don't have enough power, okay. Um, I mean, maybe there's a... Let's build the sanctuary just in case there's a wonder or something that needs to be built next to a sanctuary or something. We can build a flood barrier here. Uh, let's see. We just got done constructing the flood barrier here. Oh, yeah, yeah. We were going to put in a spaceport. If you're looking for me. Now, do spaceports get any sort of adjacency bonuses? I don't think they do. Um... Can't be built on hills. Okay. So, let's see. If we wanted to build something else, though, like an industrial zone, we'd want to put it there. If we wanted to build a... Aerodrome, that's the same options. Encampment we could put anywhere, basically. Okay, so I feel like this... Whoa! Nope. Wrong option. Click the wrong thing back. Okay. We're going to put a spaceport here. And 
it's going to take 51 turns. That's an unacceptable number of turns. So we're going to go ahead and purchase a seaport in the interim. And then can we? what can we purchase with faith here? A pagoda. Well, not yet. we got to purchase a shrine and a temple first, it looks like. Now we can buy a pagoda. That will give us diplomatic favor for turn and additional faith. Okay. And we can also then purchase with faith missionaries, apostles, naturalists. Okay, let's um maybe start purchasing some missionaries and stuff like that. What are we looking at on our Yeah, yeah, okay. We've got all these city states that are the wrong religion near us. We can fix that. We can start traveling down here. We just need to make sure that nobody else gets a religious victory before we do. I've been sitting on all these faith points in case I needed them to uh, build anything crazy, like summon great people and stuff. But I mean, honestly, I feel like this great scientist here is kind of terrible for us anyway so we're looking forward to having this other sweden passing us or arabia um we don't really need this great musician this great admiral we're so far ahead on we're gonna get him anyway um in fact we're gonna get him wait zero great admiral points are in per turn oh because they that's right, the the um, the people who did the voting thing said a thing where no great admiral points would ever be earned for a while. Okay. So, I'm just going to buy this guy then, and then I'll be on my way. Okay, so that earned us an envoy with Nazca. Fantastic. Got an era score boost there, which is good, because we're getting toward the end of the era. Hey, welcome, Jeppe. Glad you could join us. Okay, so this Spec Ops guy. Let's have him fly over here for right now. I'm just going to have him do a quick island hopping campaign. I'm thinking maybe I didn't play wide enough earlier, and that's going to be a problem for me now. I'm, I'm really starting to worry a little bit. Okay. But because I just don't have enough land to build all the districts I want. And that's going to be a whole thing. Okay, so steel tech boost. Yeah, let's do that. Accept mission. 5% chance of being captured or killed, but this person has the plus 4 levels of escape. So hopefully they'll be fine. Okay, so this worker having built this farm here, we can start building solar panels and mines. Um, I don't know that we need the solar panels right now, but the mine would give us a production boost. So that has a value. You can ask friends for vo to vote in your favor in World Congress via trades. Oh! Okay, Mr. Hardlock, I get it now. Okay. That is how you win a diplomatic victory, which I am technically trying to do. I'm just failing at. So right now we have 13 out of 20 points toward that. The cars haven't advanced that much since we were kids. When you boil it down, it's still a gas combustion engine. That unlocks the Golden Gate Bridge Wonder, the tank, the supply convoy, and plus one movement for embarked units. Okay. So, we've got this uh, route from... Uh, Kayapoi, I think we go ahead and we move this over here to, we transfer this to where we're building that spaceport so we can get some buffs over there. Uh, so this Spec Ops guy here, if we move him within our territory and he has full movement, he can airdrop somewhere else. Okay, so we have Matthew Perry. Um, not the one from Friends, but the one who uh, opened up Japan with gunboat diplomacy. We need to figure out which city-state 
we want to completely become suzerain of. Like, who has the most obnoxious number of people somewhere? Zanzibar gives you cinnamon and cloves luxury resources. And the current suzerain is the Brazilians. Who's already mad at us also? Because uh, it's kind of fun if we go upset somebody who's already upset with us. Mm, okay. Teddy Roosevelt is in charge of Mogadishu. Let's see. Okay. Um, plus one culture for every adjacent bonus resource and entertainment complex to build a Beatty improvement. Um, provides tourism after researching flight. Cannot be built adjacent to another Beatty. This one plus five science in all cities for each strategic resource. Ooh. Okay. You know what? Yeah. Okay. I think we're going to Taruga, y'all. Where is Taruga on the map? Oh, it's not even that far. Okay. So let's have him do a city transfer to Kawia. And we'll upgrade this, uh, or let's, let's have the caravel move here. Do a quick upgrade to a destroyer to reinforce him. Before, oil was merely a curiosity of scholars. Now our destroyer wields it as a weapon for the first time in the world. Oh, yeah, I forget that, like, sometimes upgrading units gives you, like, advantages. Who knew? Okay. So. Oh, hey, now that we have that Natural History Museum in uh, Wanganui, maybe we should consider, like, I don't know, sending some people there. That would be three turns, but we could also do a city transfer and then do it in one. Or still two turns, it's fine. Okay, launch Mars Colony, advanced flight. Let's see. What city, do we have city-state quests that are like, hey, get a Eureka for this? Religious conversion, Eureka for military science, religious conversion, send a trade route. Religious conversion. Okay. To get military science, we need to kill a unit with a knight. I don't think we're going to get that one, y'all. I'm sorry. That's just unlikely to happen. Eureka for ballistics. Build two forts. I'm too, uh, we don't have enough territory. We have no land. Recruit a great general. Religious conversion. Military science. Ballistics. Send a trade route. Train a bombard. I think we could actually train a bombard now. I think that's an option we have available to us. There, are you happy? We did it. Okay. So let's go look at the bottom here. Eureka for advanced flight. So to get the advanced flight one, we have to buy two biplanes, but we don't have an aerodrome. Okay. Suru. I don't know. Claim a great person. Oh, hey, now we can get those toys luxuries, which is fantastic. Uh, over here, we can build a water park. Ooh, build the Golden Gate Bridge. I mean, the Golden Gate Bridge is one of those things that doesn't really make sense to build most of the time in the game. Because, uh, it just lets... But it does give you a huge tourism boost. Um... Trade routes traveling through it can multiply the gold they get. I don't know that any of my trade routes would go through this, but you know what? Let's do it anyway. Have fun playing Diablo, um, Jeppe. Jory says, in this Civ stream, Joe learns to harness the power of friendship. Yep, and welcome, Quiet Devious. The big problem is that since we're playing with the Secret Societies mod, and nobody... Um... Okay. So, who, who else are we friendly with? Genghis Khan? Let's declare friendship. Yeah. We're just gonna declare friendship with everybody who's friendly with us. And see how that goes.
Okay, so now we have we have a bunch of friends. Have I considered capturing any other city states? The thing is, I like the suzerain bonuses. I've got a bunch of things that give me advantages from suzerain bonuses, so it kind of behooves me not to do that. Quiet Devious One rolling in with 20. Boom. Let's see. That is going to get us... Four dollars past our next face camera expansion milestone. So here we go. It's time to expand. Do, 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 do. So thank you very much, Quiet Devious, for that. Hope you are having a fantastic day. Yep, the uh, Clio stream that we would normally do at this time uh, has been postponed until Friday because Clio was not feeling well. She's got a little bit of a headache this morning. So, okay. Let's go ahead and figure out what makes the most sense to do here? Uh, okay, so we have enough money. It feels like we immediately build the lighthouse to get power. And then the shipyard and the uh, seaport to get productivity. Okay, so now when we want to create a district, it'll be a lot faster, right? Now, okay, so then what? The campus, do we have good adjacency bonuses for that? Eh, eh, plus two. Okay. Uh, theater square, how are we on adjacency bonuses for that? Completely meh. Industrial zone, adjacency bonuses, plus two. I mean, honestly, if we build the industrial zone here, we've got the seaport for industry, and then we build a spaceport there. That's, this is not insane. Uh, sorry to hear that, Quiet Devious. Uh, okay. So we have this guy who will create a new luxury called Toys, which provides plus four amenities. You'll love to see it. So now when we look at our city status list here, everybody's accelerated, everybody's ecstatic. Um, the only place we're close to hitting full housing on is the capital. We've got 30 people there. That's wild. We need the campus for the library for the uranium boost. Okay. You, your library has a uranium boost? I did not know that. Okay. Would I find that here? Uh, I'm not sure. Or university. Okay. Well, we'll figure that out next. Build a quarry here. Boom. Next problem. So, we can build a solar panel here or a mine. I think we want to go ahead and get the mine in. That makes sense to me at the moment. Because we're good on power. We need to get offshore wind farms. I unlocked something which gave universities a boost. Okay. Ooh, she's willing to trade me a work, a great work of writing for oil and niter, and I have plenty of both. So that kind of feels like an easy yes, please. Okay, this guy's denouncing me because I have more great people than him. That's fine. I understand. I am really great. Also, every time I recruit great people, we get a boost to our ley lines, which is why we are getting uh, five science, four culture. Totalitarianism. The ultimate end of any ideology is totalitarianism. Okay, we're not actually going to change government to that. We just uh, needed to roll through that as part of our tech tree to get to space race. How's this Nobel Prize in Literature going? Oh, uh, boy. You earn progress by earning great writer, artist, and musician points. We are in second place. And there are... But there's no... Diplomatic stuff. Causes belly gained. You have gained causes belly. Declare colonial war on Pedro II. I don't really want to do that. Ooh, increased trade route capacity. That's one of my favorites. One of my favorites. Golden Gate Bridge. What are we doing over here? Flood Barrier. Okay. So we're going to go ahead 
and we're going to create the new trade route from here to boost our spaceport because that spaceport's going to take forever to build the way we're working on it now. It was around the time Uranium, Uranium Town was established and I said I had no production left. I have a PayPal incoming. Ah, hey. Thank you so much. Woo. We just got a hundred rolling in from Catherine. Thank you so much, Catherine. Let's see. So we were at... Wait, hold on. If we're at 24 now... Yeah, that works. That's a full abacus. That is going to get us five face camera expansions. Woo. Okay, so here we go. Number one, it's time for fun. Da 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 da. Numero dos, a bigger Joe. But now for numero trace. Wow, my hair it looks terrible today. That wasn't supposed to be the rhyme. I just didn't really do much with it. Y'all have seen that money goes straight to my head with each face camera expansion we hit. But now, like Jacob Marley, these chains I forged in life are about to begin pulling me down to the deep below. Enter the Joost. Boom, 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 boom. That's going to lower our Joe opacity now to 90%. At this point, each additional face camera expansion will be accompanied by a corresponding drop in Joe opacity. So, number four, how about some more? La da da da. Going to lower the Joe opacity now to 80%. Boom, there we go. And numero. Each, ni, san, shi, go, go, grow, expand, jost, do, 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 do. Lowering the Joe opacity now to 70%, and that puts us 16 away from the next face camera expansion. Thank you so much. Tips are welcome via paypal.me slash Joe Hills and YouTube Super Chat. Uh, Foster says, Joe, glad to see you playing Civ. I love this game. Me too. I haven't played a lot of it on stream. It's kind of a new thing for me, but I've been playing Civ 5 and Beyond Earth for years, having a lot of fun with them. So it's fun to be able to share that with y'all as well. Okay. So, like, if I roll over here, could I produce a solar panel that's within range of this city? I'm actually not sure. Ooh, could I produce a solar panel within range of this city? Finn Tim says that was the best thing to come back to after finishing the day. I'm so glad. Okay, so we've got Matthew Perry here. He's linked up with this unit. Okay, and we're going to Taruga. 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 Choo-choo. Okay, so we're going to have this builder go back here and chill in the city for a minute until we get something else done. Okay, so we have a new trade route opportunity here we want to boost our production right now our production is only 51 so we get that trade route going out there that'll be a 10 percent increase now the thing is if we go to hong kong that's only that's four productivity but wait you know what i'm looking at this we get an extra culture and we get a, a free envoy so i'm thinking we're gonna go ahead and do that let's get the free envoy and the new trading post set up there. So here we go. Begin route. Boom. Increased trade route capacity. Wait, how did I get another trade route? Does that mean I can buy yet another trader? No. No. Okay. Next. Okay, so we've got Titian, who's going to create some great works. Boom. A religious great work that's now on display in the National Museum. Yeah, National History Museum. There we go. And we're going to go ahead. He can't do any more this turn, so he's chill for a minute. Excuse me. Mm. Those who refuse to trade often think they can take what they want from us. They're sorely mistaken. Oh no, she wants us to trade with her. Well, maybe if you had some productivity boosts so we could get our spaceport done sooner. Because I don't know if you saw, but this spaceport is kind of uh, taking a lot of work to get off the ground. Okay. Meanwhile, hey, whoever was building Broadway clearly decided not to. 
So that gave us an opportunity to jump in there. Irving Berlin in Annie Get Your Gun says, There's no business like show business. So there we go. We are constructing our very own theater district of Broadway. What is that going to get us? Let's find out. Well, for one thing, your progress towards space race uh, has advanced considerably. Uh, military science we have completed research on. However beautiful the strategy, you should look occasionally at the results. So that lets us get line infantry, cavalry, military academy. Cool, cool, cool. Oh, okay, so, hold on, World Wonder completed, yeah, plus four era score for finishing Broadway. I actually do want to know what Broadway does, just like, in the game happenings. Plus 20% culture in this city. One free random atomic era civic boost. Must be built on flat land adjacent to city or adjacent to Theater Square District, plus three great writer points per turn, plus three great musician points per turn, plus one great work of writing slot, plus two great works of music slots. Hey, well that means that this great musician here now has a place to go work. Go write a concerto, please. Boom. Put that on Broadway. Yeah, we did. Okay, we can choose a new research now. I mean, honestly, we're looking at the technology tree here. Things that'll actually help us day to day. Plus two gold to camps. Like, uh, we, we got a lot of gold. Robotics gives pastures an extra food. I mean, build nuclear device, nuclear fission. Maybe we should focus on nuclear fission. Because if we can build nuclear reactors, that's going to be a, a huge time saver for us. Okay. Meanwhile, down here, we could work on building the Bolshoi Theater. Um, awards two free randomly chosen civics. Spaceport, water park, coal power plant. Honestly, I think we want to work on the flood barrier because I am a little worried that other people are going to start producing a lot of CO2. Okay. How, how long until ice melt and stuff? Top contributors, Bolivar. Um... So, maybe I'm just being paranoid by building these flood barriers, but the problem is, if you don't build them soon enough, you get into real trouble, real fast, um, and you can't buy them, but they don't do anything for you other than require maintenance. Okay. Let's look at some of our options, though, in terms of districts. If we wanted to build a spaceport, we have a lot of places we could put it. If we wanted to build an aerodrome, we have the same options. Do we need three spaceports? I'm not sure we do, but from a productivity standpoint, this might actually be the best place. Maybe we have the other ones as fallbacks. And then they also don't know which one to sabotage. Although I'm not sure it works that way. How are we on housing? Ooh, not great. Okay. So we'd have to lose the seaside resort, which is generating gold to get the, uh, the best housing there. Two turns until growth. Oh, wait, wait, wait. We probably want to build a neighborhood rather than... Yeah, so we could put a neighborhood in here. That'll give us a boost. I thought you could buy flood barriers with faith. That depends on certain things about, like, what religion you are and stuff like that. Um, which we are not set up for. Hmm, okay. So just as I'm thinking this through. Spaceport in 13 turns. Where's the other spaceport projects, progress-wise? We are 27 turns away from producing that spaceport. So this gets us going way faster. 
But we're going to have to take a break to build a neighborhood anyway. Let's see if we can... Hmm. Okay, let's, let's, let's just think about a few other things. So we can get some bonuses from... Uh, that's chance rebuildings of power plants, which we don't have. Hmm. Oh boy. I mean, we could start building nuclear power plants. Wait, how soon could we start building nuclear power plants? Three turns? Okay, in that case, yeah, let's go ahead and become suzerain of one of these other industrial ones. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Actually, no, let's become suzerain of this place because that is ludicrous. That additional culture for each great person you've earned, we've earned a lot of great people. And yeah, we're going to confirm placement here. Also, what happened to the missionary that I tried to hire here earlier? Is he still traveling? No, wait, where is he? He's... Is he over here? I could have sworn that I recruited a missionary here. Or at least I intended to, and then I guess I didn't. Okay. So. This place has to produce something. Um, builder, settler, trader. Harbor shipping is worthless right now. Oh, additional spy. Yeah, build an additional spy. Also, you over here. Seaside Resort. Solar farm. I think we want to start building solar farms. I think that those will give me a boost to things. Even if they're outside of my... Hey, we got three era score, for example, already. But let's, let's verify. Did that guy get power from the solar farm? Yeah, okay. So that means we send this guy and we have him... Okay, uh, okay, yeah, 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 we're in business now, we're in business now. Okay. So we start building some solar farms around here on some of the areas that we can't otherwise harvest from. Let's have this guy create another picture. Hey, it's Salome with the head of John the Baptist. Delicious. Okay. And let's see the spy here. Gain sources seems like a safe bet. This is the spy with the takes no time to establish presence in an enemy city. It feels like it was a few turns, but okay. So maybe they still take time to travel. Okay, so Ruatoria. If we're looking at production here, Auckland will give us a free envoy. 12 gold, 4 production, 4 food. I'm kind of liking that. Let's begin that route. That gets us down to 25 turns to get the seaport created. Yeah, there's just not really anything else I can produce around here. Oh, wait, are those furs? Would that be within range if we buy that fur? Yeah, let's buy that fur tile before the city-state gets it. What fertile land? And, yeah, we're going to go deal with that. Okay. Okay. Dentalid, Texas has nothing like a lady holding a guy's head. To be fair, though, all I see of you most of the time is your head, too. Yeah, you could do a whole bring me the head of Joe the streamer thing. Joe the hermit. I don't know. We, 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 we could workshop it. Wait, I just thought I sent that guy over there. This guy I'm trying to send to here. And this guy I want to send to here. Next turn. Okay. 
Okay. Open borders. Great wave off Kanagawa. Yeah. Look at this. We're getting all this art and stuff. In exchange for ludicrous amounts of oil. Uh-oh. Enemy spy killed. Oh, wait. Yes. I'm, ha I'm happy about that. Good, good job, Tao Mewtwo, killing the enemy spy. Wait, one of our guys failed, though, too. Our spy was undetected, but the mission still failed. Okay. So, try again, I guess? Okay, so we're gonna have this guy here. Grants enough envoys to become suzerain of the city-state, then removes all other players' envoys. Okay, so if we check Taruga here, we would need eight envoys to become thing, and their suzerain boost is plus 5% science in all cities for each different improved strategic resource they have. Yes, please. So our current science is 568, and let's see what that goes up to. 5-7, oh. Whoops, nope. I was looking at culture. We somehow got a culture boost from that, too. I didn't... Oh, uh, what was the science boost? Dang it. Well. I'm sure that helped. Um, now let's leave before they notice us. Like professionals. I'm just going to park here for a bit. Okay, this guy has to go somewhere that there are great, there's room to put great works. Um, let's look at our great work slots. We might not have anything left. Um, okay, so if we put that there and we go to the palace, where's the palace? No, oh, there it is. Okay. We'll just have him walk. It's not that far. Okay. So we're going to have this guy create another builder to create more solar panels. Choose production. We're going to produce up here. Um, How about a destroyer armada? I mean, I know we said we were going to do that down there in our Venetian arsenal. They're really busy working on the Golden Gate Bridge. And... Yeah, this coal power plant thing would be a dead end. Oh, actually, no. We're going to have them build a builder to get more um, solar power, too. Actually, that's it. We'll build her solar power. Yeah. Yeah, that's it. Next problem. Okay, so this guy come down here, and he can build some solar power here. Next turn. This bombard is going to just go on alert. Alex C says, I started playing Civ without fast combat and movement again after uh, seeing these streams. It's nice to see the ha stuff happen more slowly. Yeah, I enjoy it at this pace. Uh, Martin C says, it seemed like it was a 60 point difference in science when we did that. Oh, awesome. Fantastic. Yeah, we're going to hold on to that then. Okay, one turn away from getting the space race, which lets us get production towards space race projects if we have a military academy or seaport, which is great. The modern era ends in nine turns. Let others say what they will, but the real flourishing of atomic era culture began with the discovery of the space race by the Maori. Woo! We choose to go to the moon in this decade and do the other things, not because they are easy, but because they are hard. So let's see, that uh, removed the red policy we had up there. That's no longer allowed. Uh, I think we were using that one to get extra oil. No. Honestly, we don't really need the extra oil one. Um, maybe we do... Is there a plus production towards space stuff districts? Bum, bum, bum. 
That's the Space Race Projects, but I don't think Space Race Projects includes districts. Um, unit maintenance cost reduced by 2 gold per turn, plus 50% gold, or actually 50% gold and resource discounts on all unit upgrades. Let's go ahead and do a pass on unit upgrades again, because we probably have a few things that we can do there. Um, I think the great engineer points are still good for us. International trade routes provide plus one gold uh, per luxury and strategic resource at the destination as well as plus two culture and science. I'm loving the culture and science boosts. Oh, but we're not really doing a lot of international trade routes, I'll be honest. Is there maybe something better in the yellows that we could do? Plus 200% tourism from goal, uh, from great works of music. Extra culture from building city squares. Do, 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 do. Um, plus production toward all wonders. You know, while we're working on that Golden Gate Bridge, we're kind of slowed down. So yeah, let's maybe just do that real quick. So that'll get us the Golden Gate Bridge sooner. Seven turns. Choose Civic. Cold War. Grants the ability to construct an additional spy or class struggle, which will reveal rapid deployment. Let's you move between airports. Ooh, 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 research station, research station, research station. Must be built next to a campus with a research lab on a snow or snow hills tile. Did we remember to build a campus with a research lab on a snow or snow hills tile? This time up here, I think we did. <gasps> no, we didn't build a campus. Ah. Uh, okay. Well, I guess we'll just uh, grumble. Okay. So, up here in the capital, having completed that builder, uh, we're going to do... Campus... Actually, Theater Square Festival will work us toward that Nobel Prize in Literature. We're actually close on that. Yeah, okay. So we're actually going to do a bunch of Theater Square Festivals. Everywhere we possibly can. Unit needs orders. Fire started. We don't care about that. For Civic of New Era. Bolshoi Theater. Okay. While we've got this uh, upgrade thing active, which units can we upgrade? Let's just look into that real quick. Um, traders can't be upgraded. Spies can't be upgraded. Privateer may be upgraded. Yeah, submarine. Okay. That guy can't be upgraded. Ranger can be upgraded. Okay. Okay. Let's look at our list. Frigate can be upgraded to battleship. Caravel can be upgraded once it's in port. Spies can't be upgraded. I think I found the problem. Yeah, I know. They have to learn on their own, and they're bad at it. Privateer. Bring that boy into the shop. Unit needs orders. That's a destroyer. We're going to have that go on alert for now. But let's just go back and look at all the list of ships. Any of these ships still need to be upgraded? Nope, I think we're good. Just have him on the alert here. Submarine. This great admiral, industrial and modern era naval units within two tiles. I think we want to have him link up with, or stay linked with the battleship. Okay, next turn. Who boy.
A unit needs orders. Okay, let's create some art. Whoa, it's a portrait of Charles V. How equestrian! Look at him, he's got a spear, he's got a plume, his horse has a matching plume. There are trees. Oh, it's beautiful. I love it. Okay, we're going to put that in the palace and we're going to leave it there. Unless there's like a theming bonus advantage to doing it somewhere else. In which case we will throw out that plan quickly. Okay, we'll have nuclear fission next turn. That's nice. Strategic resource potential unleashed. So we got an Aeroscore boost for having something actually use coal. Uh-oh. Wait, somebody else built the Golden Gate Bridge? Jow! Is that a causeless belly? I know that's not how you say it. But I'm, I'm kind of mad. Okay, build nuclear device, Manhattan Project, nuclear power plant. If you go on with this nuclear arms race, all you're going to do is make the rubble bounce. Okay, so we successfully stole a secret of steel from the city of Baltimore. So that uh, spy is ready for a promotion to secret agent. Secret agent spy. Secret agent spy. Let's see what uh, promotions are available. Steel technology as of two levels more advanced. That's precisely the one we want for you. Okay. So, next, so we are over here. We were, okay, wait, wait, wait. So we can build a military academy. Unfortunately, losing that Golden Gate Bridge really killed. Does it say how much we got 293 production salvaged? Okay. We can build a water park. That's not that great. We're all out of wonders to build. Honestly, the nuclear power plant isn't really a great choice for right here because we have room for the solar stuff that we're doing. Like right now we have eight usable of six required. And like we're about to literally go over here and just be like, Floomp. And then, uh... I mean, honestly, though, maybe we build a seaside resort here. We keep it in our back pocket that we can, uh... I think the seaside resorts also give you tourism, right? They're not just money. Provides tourism equal to the tile's appeal. Yeah, so... Like, not that we're shooting for a tourism victory, but if I screw up the diplomatic victory, a culture victory is one that we're pretty well suited for on the whole. We're not in huge trouble there. Um, apparently we're leading on science victories at this point? Oh, that's interesting. Hmm. How do you get a diplomatic victory in this one? I'm trying to figure that out. There's like a bunch of random missions and stuff you can do, and building certain wonders gives you diplomatic victory points, but it's still kind of like... Ah? Uh, I don't know. Like, okay. So let's have this guy come here and build a solar farm. Your progress toward environmentalism has advanced considerably. Awesome. Okay, so we have a spy here. Whoops, we want to have him travel to another city. Um, Stockholm? Is there science to steal there? Yeah, there is. Okay, so we're going to go to Stockholm. Choose production. Now... Military Academy will let us increase our strategic resource stockpiles. Allow corps and armies to be trained directly. Plus one great general slot. I mean, honestly, the four production and the stockpile increase. The stockpile increase is handy for trading. 
Oh, wow, this destroyer has a great range on it. Look at that. Oh, wow. You'll love it. Look at me. I'm just sailing around the ocean with my ludicrous amount of oil per turn. 34 oil per turn accumulating, consuming four with my fleet. Womp womp. Um, okay. So... When we look at the science tech tree here, in some ways, it benefits us to just go chase the most advanced thing. Or, to, oh, no, no, no. We only chase things that we already have boosts for. Because we can steal boosts to other things. So steel gives us a boost to the lumber mill and the Eiffel Tower. Ooh. Okay, so let's say we do steel first. Because I do have a few lumber mills. Now, up here, though, this is where building the nuclear power plant would actually come in handy. Although, we also have the builder able to go and build a solar thing here. Mm. Nuclear power plant gives us four production, three science, though. Production bonus is extended to all city centers within six tiles. We don't really have any of those. Automatically converts any amount of uranium into power for cities that need it. One uranium for 16 power. That is a lot of power. That is a lot of power. Okay. So, just out of curiosity, if I went and built fishing boats there, they'd be out of range for workability. That's frustrating. That's deeply frustrating. And there's no crazy resources or ley lines up there to take advantage of. Ooh. Actually, what have we got here? Whales, ley line, copper. There's not enough land for us to build most of the places we should be building is the problem. Hmm. Okay, well, let's choose production down here. Um, we just completed the neighborhood, so we've got our housing fix in. Spaceport will take us 13 terms, turns, but our buddies up here working on the spaceport, uh, 22 turns out still. Oi. That's disappointing. I think we kind of have to go for the spaceport here. And let's go ahead and set it up over here. And in the interest of increasing productivity, let's go ahead and just purchase a nuclear power plant outright. And your knowledge of nuclear fusion has advanced considerably. Thanks, science. Okay, so hopefully, so that's only 12 turns now, that's even faster. If we go on a productivity binge, no, we can't adjust that either. You have to recommission them every 15 turns? Oh, I didn't realize it was every 15 turns. Wow, that's, that's not very off, or that's, that's way more frequently than I thought it was going to be. Um, boy. Maybe I should do the Manhattan Project just because we don't really have anything else to research here. Harbor shipping isn't great with the Great Admiral thing disabled. Bread and circuses. If your city is exert... Uh, we don't need the extra loyalty. Hey, welcome Poison Sandwich. Glad you could join us. Just hanging out, having fun. Okay, so our missionary finally arrived here. Welcome to Cardiff. Okay, we can build a fur camp here. And what are we doing here? This great person. We're just going to have him chill. He's going to sleep. We're going to have this ship come out here to keep an eye on things. We'll have this ship come out here to keep an eye on things. Missionary. Why not buy a settler for the ley line city? Um, I mean, the thing is that there's not enough of a boost. Like, 
The problem is that I was hoping there'd be some resources next to some of those ley lines that would justify going and settling them, but there's just not. There's, it's like all that's up here is, um, all that's up here is a river and a ley line and a whale and an oil. We have so much oil as it is, right? Like it's, I mean, I guess in theory we could settle it here and have two ley lines within range and be able to put a district there and a dist. I mean that. I I mean you could do it, and it does stop somebody else from getting that oil, which is a strategic resource that everyone loves to trade for constantly like this guy if I was like hey this guy you want an embassy nah that's okay you want a deal hey I heard you had honey how would you like a bit of oil two barrels of oil I have a ludicrously high amount of oil way too much oil more oil than I can store you know I can just go to any of those guys and just go get some whatever they got there's a ley line next to Nalanda near your city as well yeah yeah I could there's also a guy up there in theory yeah I could put a settler where's the settler view put a settler on this river here that is an option I have, but once again, that gets me the ley lines, but it doesn't get me anything. And maybe I'm maybe I'm underestimating how important the ley lines are when we get to the end. If we do view the promotions, um, it grants great people points and science for every ley line in the city. Yeah, I mean, so maybe grabbing those two would make sense. But, I mean, this is just tundra up here with very little harvestable stuff otherwise. I mean, it's... Bleh. But, I mean, these guys are settling a bajillion cities. Maybe I'm just playing too tall in general. Yeah, okay, fine. We have enough money. Um, we can... Hire a settler and an escort for him. Do 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 purchase an item. I'm yeah. I'm getting 920 gold per turn, so this is fine. This is gonna be okay. Um, I probably want a cavalry guy. Maybe maybe we go with a recon unit though. Spec ops. Ooh, mechanized infantry. Ooh, very fancy. So, we're gonna have him link with that guy. And we'll have them head here. Well... The problem is settlers are cheap in the heart of my empire, but out on the fringes, it's hard to... it's less uh, clear. Okay, so this builder can go build a, uh, what do you call it, solar panel up there. This crossbowman can go keep him company. Next turn. Tundra City just to build the wonder. Oh, that's interesting. Oh, Super Mega Coffee Guru says if there are angry spies about, you're more likely to get your thing here in Chernobyl. Uh, Kindleus says, Joe, five hours. Have you been uh, eating or hydrating? Well, I actually had a real breakfast before I got started. Oh, <gasps> this guy's going to give me the Shroud of Turin back. Thank you. That's very kind. Um, but I can't give you the coal. I can give you more oil. Yeah, I've got so much oil. Promise fulfilled. 
to stop spying on the Arabians. So that means we can spy on Arabia again. But yeah, so basically I made a full French press and um, had a big breakfast before I started. Soldiers march by in formation, calling cadence. I don't know what I've been told. Life in Wanganui gets real old. Okay. The class struggles necessarily leads to the dictatorship of the proletariat. Okay, so we've unlocked a new government, which we don't have any interest in changing to. But this is an opportunity to change our policies. We've just done all the upgrades we need to do. So, um, plus one movement per turn if starting in friendly territory. I guess makes sense. Plus 15% production towards space race projects. I mean, we're almost to the point where we could start doing space race projects, but we're not there yet. So let's go just help that settler get going. Wait, wait, wait. Plus 30% plus introduction toward encampment districts, harbor districts, and buildings for these districts. Um, hmm. Yeah, good policies. Okay. So this guy can come here now. And he can build a solar panel. Woo! And so let's see, this guy over here has just built a solar panel. Woo! And he doesn't know what to do. So we'll just have him chill. Sleep. Okay. I appreciate it, Kindleus. I'm good though. Okay. Um open civic tree. Oh. Yeah, just the weather outside today is dreadful. It's like it's a it's a good day to just sit inside and play Civ. The other thing is, um, once a week is when I really do the I do this like extended Wednesday morning stream with Cleo, so I'm kind of like in my comfort zone there. Um okay. Bum 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 ba dun 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 Okay, so we gotta do some sort of production up here. Okay, so we're gonna do campus research and grants to get more science. There's a fire that's, oh no, that's really bad. Can we, can this guy put the fire out? Or is that just gonna kill him? We'll find out. Okay, let's try and do a science mission here. Steel tech boost. This battleship is on alert. Choose production down here. We just completed the industrial zone. Like, I probably should build an aerodrome somewhere. Because we don't have any anywhere else. And if we were going to build a carrier base, this wouldn't be a bad place for it. Um, hmm. We're also very close to getting a golden era, so if we can get that in the next few turns, that would be fantastic. Missionary. Okay, uh, let's have this guy come back over here, maybe build a solar panel on this tile. Solar panel. Okay, so how are we for power here? We have eight of three required. So we're gonna be in good shape on power there. This guy, let's go ahead and spread religion. This guy's on alert. Okay. So. And let's go see what's in here, a mountain. Next turn. Mountain tunnel. Oh, you can build mountain tunnels on water. Interesting. 
Or no, I guess that's not a canal. That's Can boats use mountain tunnels? I have a lot of questions. Aluminum, 27 gold per turn. Yeah. It does hurt us that we don't have any aluminum. This guy wants my aluminum, but wants to offer the entertainer. Uh, okay. I want to put this fire out, and I can't. I wish there was a firefighting unit. That's very frustrating. Okay. So, we do need to start probably wrapping up soon. Steel! There are three things extremely hard. Steel, a diamond, and a no one self. That'll give us plus one production from lumber mills, unlocks urban defenses, giving all your cities automatic 400 fortification strength, and the ability to perform ranged attacks. All previous wall improvements become obsolete, and siege support units are no longer effective. Okay, so that's one less thing to worry about. Solar panel here. Okay, have this guy continue scouting out this way. And see what's down here. Okay. Have our missionary do another thing. Boom. That gets us a nice little boost there. And this missionary can do their thing. Okay, so maybe we also want to recruit with Faith some hmm. more missionaries. Okay, choose research. Well, we want to get ballistics out of the way so we can clear that city-state quest and get assigned a new one. Uh, in our capital here, campus research grants seems to be the thing that makes the most sense. Although, wait, how are we on Nobel Prize? No, wait, wait, wait. No, we want to do... We don't want to camp do campus research grants. We want to do Theater Square Festival to get extra great person points. Okay. Unit needs orders. Crossbowman. Alert. Okay. Let's do a manual save here. Turn 268. Save game. Hey, Vicman Photography. Yeah, we're about to wrap up soon. Ooh. This is just helping me stay sane while I wait to hear back. Um, so I ordered a new capture card, and the delivery page is like, shipping soon. Your tracking number will be available soon. And I was like, I want to know when it'll be here now. Yeah, it still says soon. Uh, okay, it's fine. But yeah. Order, ba, 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 incense. Yeah, we do have incense. Okay, open borders. Sure, sure, sure. Seems good. We're accumulating 34 oil per turn. Okay. Five turns till we complete the Manhattan Project. Nine turns till we complete a spaceport. Two turns till we complete an aerodrome. One turn till we can complete a nuclear power plant. Surging machinery and billowing smoke mark the start of our power generation. Ballistics. Let's get on our knees and pray. I don't know to whom. Is there a patron saint of ballistics yet? Adam Savage. Let's just make the field cannon and the curator. We've also unlocked the Civic Cold War. 
from Stettin in the Baltic to Trist in the Adriatic, an iron curtain has descended across the continent. Winston Churchill. Okay, so we have cryptography, which hurts enemy spies. Um, plus 100% production toward all neighbor units but carriers. Each envoy to a city-state counts as two. If it's suzerain, has a different government than you. Uh, nuclear device maintenance reduced. Rock bands available. And grants the ability to construct an additional spy. Okay. So we have plus 50% production towards spies now. So we probably want to keep doing that. But this enemy spy level reduced thing seems kind of nice. Are we actually using the great engineer points we're getting? 32 great engineer points, 10 great engineer points. We could just buy this guy with faith right now. Grants production towards wonder construction. Capped at half your current treasury. This reduces your gold by twice the amount of... Uh, that sounds... Hold on. Uh, yeah, I don't even know if we want that one. We might pass on him anyway. That's like a whole mental thing that I have to figure out. Um, and the rest of this is all fine. I don't know. Okay, builder. Oh, we can't build the solar farm here because it's... Um, what do you call it? It's not flat. Is this flat? Snow hills. Okay, apparently not. That's snow hills. So, I guess we'll have the builder roll back this way then for now. And we can upgrade the field cannon. And upgrade the bombard. Can upgrade the Toa to mechanized infantry. We still have that upgrade civic on, right? Nope. That would have been good to have. I thought I had it on. Well, never mind. Open technology tree. Um, which one gives us a cool wonder? Uh, nuclear submarine's a cool upgrade. Stealth technology. Okay. Uh, well, let's go ahead and do the power or advanced ballistics because we've already boosted it. So that way we don't accidentally steal the boost of the thing we're working on. Cultural Heritage lets us build the Sydney Opera House. I have a themed building. I think we have... Well, we have one of those. Yeah, let's do that. Okay, so that fire is now done. So we can have the... Uh, oh, did the, did it kill the builder that was over here? Dang it. Probably shouldn't have had him stand directly in the fire. That's a problem. Okay. Spy mission aborted because the target is no longer valid. Uh, dang it, the stuff we're doing is undermining us. Okay. So we need to move this guy to a different city. Uh, we can go back to Arabia now, though. Because we stayed away there from there long enough. Um, so let's head back to Halab, where they actually do have stuff that we can do. Firm placement. Uh, or wait, what are we doing? We finished the nuclear power plant here. That's on turn 269. So we'll refurbish that later. But in the meantime, we're going to go ahead and do Theater Square Festival to work on that great person point thing. Over here, we can build a water park. Where do we want to build the water park, you might ask? Hmm. So the Sydney Opera House has to be built adjacent to the Harbor District. So I think we want to put our water park maybe further away, somewhere that's not really... Oh, the thing about the water park, though, is it buffs everything. Kind of. So yeah, let's put it here. We'll have this guy continue to explore inland. Okay, unit needs orders. Spy card boosts your own spies, too. Wait, it does? Change policies. 
enemy spy level your spy level is increased by one for offensive operations Ooh, yeah yeah yeah. we're gonna replace that city state one for right now with that because i'm tired of my spies dying which you think you could make a good portmanteau out of but you cannot it simply can't be done okay so this guy can't steal a tech boost from here so we're gonna have him travel to um mecca actually i feel like they're they're less likely to have um, can you put two spies in the same city we'll find out i guess no we won't i'm gonna do something different okay so missionary is gonna go here cardiff these guys are going to keep hopefully not running into... I mean, I've got a tank. How bad can those, um, what do you call them, be the uh, barbarians? Okay, so we can't steal a tech boost here either. Okay, so maybe... Um, we send this guy to go protect, uh, Tumatu's industrial district and spaceport. Okay. Do, 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 do. Bum, 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 ba, dum, bum. Hey, our progress toward rapid deployment has advanced considerably. Fantastic. So that's a civic boosted. Okay. Choose production. Uh, theater Square Festival still. Hey, we're we're all hey we're in the front now, but I don't want to lose that because yeah. So these guys, we finished um, the aerodrome. These guys actually have a lot to do. Let's do a workshop. Okay, this guy is gonna go here. And spread religion. This guy's gonna go to sleep. Okay, this spy is going to gain sources and then try to steal a tech boost. This guy is gonna keep exploring this way. Hey, we met a new city state that we've never met before. On Sean. Plus two signs from each great work of writing, plus one from each relic and artifact. Oh, that's cool. Good to meet you, Anshan. Okay. This guy's mad that we're recruiting too many great people. Well, I've got news for you, buddy. That Leyline Great Person boost is about to get stupid. Because we're going to keep recruiting great people. Hey, advanced ballistics. Aim for the moon. If you miss, you may hit a star. Okay. So, we have a spy here who is awaiting assignment. Wait, no. Oh. Don't counter spy. This guy. Oh wait, wait. Yeah, yeah. Do counter spy. I sent you here to counter spy. Um, the industrial zone will stop people from tampering with our nukes. So please keep an eye on that. Our nuclear reactors. Is this online? Uh, I'm playing single player. Okay, so we're gonna settle here. That's gonna give us that oil right away, and we're gonna be close to those tiles. So we're going to found the city. We're going to immediately buy a couple tiles that we really want. Um, 
We're also going to buy a few other things. Like a monument. And a greenery. And a water mill. And a builder. Okay. And... I'm going to have the builder come build a refinery here. And this tank guy come keep an eye on that. This clan is bribed for nine turns. Okay, we're going to remove this scout please tack because that is gone. Okay. Technology tree. Any of these already boosted? Nope. So robotics will let us build giant death robots, which are hilarious. Operation Ivy lets you build nuclear thermonuclear devices. Okay. I mean, telecommunications doesn't get us anything early, but it does get us to robotics faster. And we have so much uranium. Uh, yeah, microwaves, uh, interfere with Wi-Fi, uh, spider dome. Um, yeah, microwaves put out a lot of s interference. Govern governors can outright buy and build districts. That's true. That's true. Okay. Let's see. Choosing production here. Campus research grants will get us more science. Great scientist points. Uh, recommission nuclear reactor. Reactor age two. So we're not worried about that now. We haven't unlocked the Sydney Opera House yet. So I'm kind of thinking we just focus on... Campus research grants, or wait, if I, hmm, yeah, just for kicks. Okay, so this city actually does need to pick something to produce. Um, campus will get a plus four science from adjacent ley line resources. Yes, please. And missionary. And fortify. Oh, now it's too close to an existing city. I realize we should just roll in. And, uh... Oh, they have an ironclad there. That's good to know. That's an anti-tank group. And this is mechanized infantry. Which might count as a tank. Now that I'm looking at it. Buy a spy. Oh! Did I have a spy free? Dang it. Wait, 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 wait. Yeah, we're going, we're going back. Hold on. Rather than campus research. If we, if we have an extra spy slot... Yeah, you're right. You're right. Buy the spy. Thank you, Viber Viper. Okay, we're going to save the game. I actually think I should wrap up because I've been going for about six hours now. So let's see what else is going on out in there in the broader world of Twitch. Let's see. Boom, boom, boom. Boom, boom, boom. Boom, 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 boom. Oh, wow, there's a lot of people I know streaming today. Okay, well, you know what? I think... Uh, looks like Falcon, who is the drummer when I'm in rock band contests at conventions, which don't really happen anymore, is playing Guilty Gear Strive. So when you get over there, say, how do y'all? Joe Hill's right here. And please don't embarrass me. This is somebody I actually know in real life. Like, we used to be neighbors. Uh, so until next time, y'all, this is Joe Hills from Nashville, Tennessee. Keep adventuring. Do-do-do-do.